am ready to repent for my crimes against the Mages Guild. I still can't believe that that happened yesterday. I can't believe I actually got kicked out of the Mages Guild. That's... I'm so thankful that you can, you can, you know, earn your way back into it. Basically what happened was I was doing a quest in Bruma to join the Mages Guild, and this guy in the fucking Mages Guild told me to go steal something from one of the other members. And so, you know, I was like sneaking around like this, got the eyeball on the screen and everything. And when, when I went to like give back the item that I stole, I was still sneaking and I accidentally pickpocketed him. I was trying to talk to him because it's E to talk. And, but I was, I was, Sneaking so when you're sneaking instead of E to talk it's E to pickpocket So I accidentally pickpocketed and he freaked the fuck out and he snitched on me and he kicked me out of the mages guild so I'm I'm, I'm pretty upset that, that I got kicked out, but if you get kicked out you can earn your way back in I have to collect it's honestly the dumbest quest of all time <laughs> I have to collect 20 dragon's tongue and 20 red wart flower, which I have never even seen before which is fucked up. Um, but if, if I collect 40 of these flowers and bring them back to the, the headquarters of the Mage Guild, they'll let me back in. They will let me back in. My, it's not, you know, my life isn't ruined forever. I am redeemable. But god damn, I can't believe that my crime, my ultimate crime was misclicking. I didn't even steal anything. Uh, it was just mi- like, I click- I put my hand in his pocket, which I guess could be, like, you know, depending which pocket it was, I guess it could kind of be, like, sexual assault, which is maybe worse. So maybe it's good that I got charged for- for pickpocketing instead of anything else. Um, but yeah, it's a- it's a terrible life I'm living right now. I have to- <laughs> I have to repent for a lot. I was thinking we're just gonna- I- I don't know if this is for sure, but I have a theory that like certain flowers grow on certain like parts of the map, you know, like certain quad quadrants of the map. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna try and travel to like all the different corners of the map today and see if I could find these fucking flowers. Um, I've never been to Breville, so I was thinking we'd, we'd walk south, southeast from Skingrad, see what we could find. Oh my god, dude, these- <laughs> I was looking for a place to teleport to. Um, this says Grateful Pass Stables, and I- I don't know if it's because my eyes are hurting or what, but I read that as Great Piss Stables for a second. And I was like, there's no way it's called that. The Great Piss Stables of Skingrad. My- my allergies are making me dyslexic also, I think. I can't read. I got some cobalt? Hi, Kelton. Hi, Niccolo. Seven hour flower picking stream. I mean, if this takes longer than... I don't even want to say an hour, because I don't want to be picking flowers for an hour. But we are going to be exploring, so I don't think it's so bad. I'll, yeah, if it takes longer than an hour, we're going to change our approach to redeeming ourselves to the Mages Guild. And we'll probably just... I'll probably just go do a different quest and we'll pick flowers on the way. Because I really do want to be a part of the Mages Guild. I really like the Mages Guild. I really want to be a part of it. So I have to redeem myself. I really, really have to. It'd be so pog if it was nine years of flower picking. Yeah, it'd be really fun, I think. <laughs> I think I'd love that, probably. What's up, Jim, Jim Storner? Hi, Lemon. Sorry, I was, was really into my story about the Mage Guild. Is this your first time playing Elder Scrolls? Um, I played Skyrim before this, but yeah. Pretty much one month ago in time. Well, I, get, I think it was a month and a half ago. A month and a half ago, I'd never played an Elder Scrolls game. I've never played a Bethesda game before. Like, before I played Skyrim last month, I never played a Bethesda game. Obviously, like, I, I have known who... Like, I've known of Bethesda, the company, but I just never, I just never played their games. I was always busy with other games. But I really like them. I, I, I'm really happy that I get to experience them for the first time now. Like, it's really cool to get to experience these games for the first time, like, on stream with everyone. It's, it's been really fun. But there's a part of me that's like, why didn't I play this when I was a kid? Like, 
I would have loved this as a kid. Especially, like, the fact that the NPCs kind of feel real. I wanted that so badly when I was a kid. Just like a game where the world feels a little bit real. Like, it's kind of like living, even without me interacting. Like, just watching the NPCs interact with each other. I was a very fucking lonely kid. So, if I got to experience that, like a game like that when I was little, I feel like it would have brought me a lot of comfort. But it is still really cool to experience it for the first time now. Man, I wish it wasn't raining right now in game. I've never been down here before and I want to take a look at stuff, but it's too rainy. I can't fucking see. Need a clear sky shout, am I right? Let's just see what's over here. I can't wait for Fallout. I'm pretty excited to play Fallout too. Like, Fallout as well, not Fallout 2 specifically. <laughs> I think yesterday. Oh, you can't go this way? Oh, this is the edge of the map. Okay. Huh. I think yesterday in the in this chat, people were saying Fallout 3 is the really good one. Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas are the two really good ones or something like that. Yeah, right now, you know, Fallout's up right now because the TV show came out. I really wish I could watch it, but I don't want to... I know the TV show is, like, its own thing, but I don't know anything about Fallout. I don't know, like, anything about the story, except that New Vegas takes place in Vegas, where I live. <laughs> That's all I know about Fallout, so I don't want to, like, watch the show and, like, have spoilers for, like, you know, the concept and the premise of the, the games, if that makes sense. So I'm steering clear of the show, but I've heard that it's very beloved. People really like it. Ooh, Warrior Stone. No stars. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas is the only good Fallout game. People will kill me for saying this. Dude, they might. They might. You gotta you gotta watch out. Watch your words. Hi wholesome. Uh, Fallout 2 is good if you like old school roleplay games. I don't know if I even like... I think I like old school roleplay games. I don't even know. I don't know if I've played that many. I gotta take a picture of this. It's pretty. Hi, Teresa. Any flower gains? I have one dragon's tongue, and that's it. Dude, this flower quest might be the hardest quest in the game. I've still not found... Oh! Oh, you're fucking me. I found a dragon's tongue, but I didn't... I didn't extract anything from it. Okay. Well, got my hopes up for nothing. I haven't even found that red wart plant yet. But I'm using this... Oh shit, we found some ruins. I'm using this quest as an excuse to finally travel to all the cities I haven't been to. We're we're on the path towards Breville right now. I've never been to Breville yet. Ooh, what the heck? Do I have journeyman retort? Okay, I have the expert one. I don't need that, I guess. Hey, look at those little treats for me. Yeah, we're using this as an excuse to travel the map, traverse the map finally. Although I really want to go into these ruins, but I can't. We've got to go to Breville. Come to Breville. I lost the path. There's a path over there. I don't know if that's a path I was on. I don't think this is a main path. This is a random little tiny path. We'll go there, though. I ended up playing RimWorld? Not yet. I haven't had a chance to play yet. You know, RimWorld's not a game you could just play for like an hour. You know, like, I gotta- I gotta have a full, clear schedule to launch RimWorld. That's gonna be a- that's a like minimum 10 hour session. You launch RimWorld for the first time in a long time, minimum 10 hours. Wait, which direction? Okay, we're going southeast. What's up, Shiokor? That's Wabbajack. I love that name so much. I actually had the Wabbajack when I played Skyrim. I, I found it in-game. 
And I used it a lot once I had it. It was actually very strong. <gasps> Red wart plant! Oh, let's go! Okay. Dude, two out of 40. We are up right now. Two out of 40. One red wart. One... Where's dragon? One dragon's tongue. Fuck yeah. Okay, where am I on the map right now? Alright, so this... This area is where I will find everything I need, I guess. Let's, let's, let's look around. Can it please stop raining? <laughs> it's too much rain, I can't see. <laughs> now do that 38 more times. We got this. Or at least, you know, in the right region. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can sleep the rain away. Fuck it. 24 hour rest. Sleeping while standing up. Hey, look at that. Okay, this is way easier to navigate now. Also way prettier. Take another picture. Graphics are actually better than I expected this. Yeah, that was my initial reaction as well. It, the game looks so much better than I was thinking it would. A lot of people told me that I would need, um like mods, like graphical mods to make the experience better for Oblivion, but I, I mean, I think this kind of looks like classic WoW. Not obviously not exactly, but like kind of, it reminds me of classic WoW and I thought classic WoW was amazing. Like I thought it was super beautiful. And I think this looks really good too. Hmm. I'm like nervously waiting to hit the edge of the map again. Even though I don't know if I'm actually near it. Oblivion will always be in my top three games. Wait, did I just get yes, okay. Hey, we're progress on the pilgrimage. I think this game's gonna end up in my top three single player games as well. Nice, we got Dragon's Tongue. Jump scared me. Damn, that wolf had a lockpick? What's he breaking into? Yeah, I think this is gonna end up to my in my top games as well. I really, really like it. How was the day other than therapist stuff? She's a therapist? No. I had to break up with my therapist today. Very uncomfortable. I had to send an email. Um just saying I'm not, I need to cancel all, all our remaining sessions. I've been, oh shit, I've been looking for a therapist for a while. I had an amazing therapist when I lived in Canada, but I moved to the States, so. My Canadian therapist cannot be my therapist anymore. Um, so I've been trying to find a new one. And, you know, it always takes like a few tries to find the right one for you. So the, the therapist I, I was using was just not the right one for me. So, I tried like three sessions with her, like to just, you know, give it a fair chance, and it's not working out. I decided to email her and cancel all the appointments. It was very uncomfortable. I thought I could just like go online, because I schedule my sessions online. It's like I could just go online, cancel our appointments, but nope. I can't cancel them online. I had to actually email her. Dude, this lady is beating me the fuck up. Need a potion. Okay. 
I got her. Hi, Anya. About to go to one for the first time on Tuesday for ADHD evaluation. I hope you have a good experience, Kelton. I mean, like, it is, it's super normal to have to try a couple of therapists to find the right fit for you. Like, that, that's just how it goes. There's so many different styles of therapy, so many different, like, approaches, and just different personalities. It's super normal to, you know, not mesh with the first one you try. It's actually extremely rare, I think, to mesh with the first therapist you try. You, you definitely just have to give a couple a try. Like, don't, don't feel discouraged if... What the heck? Is this the edge of the map? Why can't I move here? Ah, it's the edge of the map, but there's more flowers that way, but you can't get to them. <laughs> Come on. What was I saying? Oh yeah, just, just know that it's normal to have to try a few different ones. So I'm on the lookout for a new therapist again. Which sucks. I hate the process of like, ha oh, I can't go that way either. <laughs> I'm like actually on the bottom of the map right now. I don't like the process of having to try a bunch of different ones, but it, that's just part of it. Fun fact, Canada is the largest amount of therapists per person source. I'm Canadian and I heard that once. <laughs> that's funny. You know, I'd believe it. Okay, where are we at with my thing? Okay, two dragon's tongue, that's pretty good. What are we on the red wart? Four red wart. Hey, that's not bad. We're doing it. We are fucking doing it. Have you ever played D&D before? Like Dungeons and Dragons? No, but I want to try it so badly. That's funny that you bring that up because I was actually, I was randomly thinking about Dungeons and Dragons last night. I was thinking about trying to find like a, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know anyone that plays it like in real life. But I was thinking maybe like looking online to see if there's groups that do it where I live. So I would really want to try it. I think playing Skyrim in now Oblivion has like made me in the mood for that kind of like fantasy role play stuff. I think it'd be cool. Ooh, my pilgrimage. I'm getting a game together with some streamer friends in a month or two once my DM moves into his new house. I'm gonna start looking for people once he gets closer. Oh, cool. Do you have like a friend that does the dungeon mastering or do you like pay someone? I've heard people pay people for it. Like th that's an actual thing. So I'm always curious. He's been dungeon mastering for 20 years. God damn. Dude must be a pro. I feel like I don't know enough about Dungeons and Dragons, but from like the limited things I do know, I've always wondered like why someone would prefer to dun dungeon master than like get to participate themselves. I, I kind of feel like, like, damn, like, you're kind of just giving them a responsibility. Obviously, people like it. That's why they do it. But... I don't know. It just feels like a lot of responsibility. They like writing. True. I definitely get to get super creative with it. I just stopped dungeon mastering because the stress of making good sessions was killing me. Oh man. That's kind of how I I would think about it too. I would feel stressed out about it. Yeah, obviously people like it, like doing it or otherwise they wouldn't. <laughs> Chad GPT dungeon master would. I wonder how how good that would be, like, if that would actually result with a, in a good story. 
Dude, these ladies are messing me up. Dude, where's my shield? I don't have a shield today for some reason. I didn't have it equipped. Oh, she's almost dead. Woo! Okay. I don't know why my shield unequipped randomly. Maybe I unequipped it. I forgot. Who the fuck's talking to <laughs> this guy? My, my buddy. We named him Kyle. He kind of looks like a Kyle, doesn't he? You look at his face. He's shy. Yeah, he talks a lot when we're, when we're battling. What's up, Squiggles? I feel it's more fun when you have a friend who's interested in dungeon mastering and works and hones their skill of being one while working on the campaign. I feel like it's part of the experience. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. And like, probably if it's someone that's your friend, like, you know, they probably know what kind of like style of story the friend group likes and can like tweak it for them or something. Oh, is that the town? I've never been to the, to Breville yet. I've never seen what it looks like, so I'm really excited. I kind of chose an unconventional path to get here instead of taking the actual path, but I need I need the flowers. Hold on. I see red. Every red flower, I have to get it. I need fucking forty of them. This is a, a lot smaller of a little town than I thought it was gonna be. Unless this isn't, unless this isn't it. Where, where am I right now? No, this isn't the town, what the heck? This is just a random little camp. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is it? <laughs> this is a, a priory. I thought because there was a church here, it would be a, a town. What's, what is this place? Let's check it out. Oh. This place not doing so good. <gasps> they left a book. The Life of Uriel Septim. I'll take the book with me. Yeah, what the fuck happened here? Where'd everyone go? Abadala. I think we read that one before. Oh yeah, I think I think we did. Alessia's names. Taking it with me. At least there's a bed here. Shazar or Shezar and the Divines. See how many pages it has. Um, I feel like we should read this one. I I haven't seen this book before. Let's just read it really quick. Um, Shezar and the Divines. The position Shezar enjoys in Cyrodiilic worship is often misconstrued. There's a typo in this book. It says if instead of is. He and a thousand other de deities have sizable cults in the Imperial City. Shezar is especially venerated in the Clovian West, though he is called Shore there, as the West Kings are resolutely and religiously Nordic. The haziness of Shezar's relationship to the Divines, um, he's often called their missing sibling, begins with Saint Alessia, the so-called Slave Queen of Cyrodiil, the founder figure of the original Cyrodiilic, Cyrodiilic Empire. In the earliest Cyro-Nordic stories of the Heartland, Shezar fought against the Aelids, the Heartland High Elves, on mankind's behalf. Then, for some unknown reason, he vanishes from the stage, presumably to help other humans elsewhere, and without his leadership, the aliens conquer the humans and enslave them. This slavery lasts for generations. The isolated humans eventually begin to venerate the pantheon of their masters, or at least assimilate so much of high, high elven religious practices into their native traditions that the two become indistingu indistinguishable. Sorry, I'm stuttering so much today. <laughs> Um, in I IE242, under the leadership of Alessia, her demigod lover, Morehouse 
Breath of Kine, and the infamous Pelinal Whitestrake. Um, the Sierra de la Humans Revolt. When Skyrim lands its armies to the slave or lends its armies to the slave queen of the south, the revolution succeeds. The alien hegemonies are quickly overthrown. Shortly thereafter, White Gold Tower is captured by Alessia's forces, and she promptly declares herself the first Empress of Cyrodiil. Part of the package meant that she had to become the High Priestess of Akatosh as well. Akatosh was an old Mary god, and Alessia's subjects were as yet unwilling to renounce their worship of the Elven Pantheon. She found herself in a very sensitive political situation. She needed to keep the Nords as her allies, but they were fiercely opposed to any adoration of Elven deities. On the other hand, she could not force her subjects to revert back to the Nordic pantheon for fear of another revolution. Therefore, concessions were made and Empress Alessia instituted a new religion, the Eight Divines, an elegant, well-researched synthesis of both pantheons, Nordic, and Aldmeri. That's really interesting, what the heck? Um, Shezar, as a result, had to change. He could no longer be the bloodthirsty anti-Aldmer warlord of old. They could not disappear altogether, or the Nords would have withdrawn their support of her rule. In the end, he had become the spirit behind all human undertaking. Even though this was merely a thinly disguised, watered-down version of Shore, it was good enough for the Nords. As for why Tiber Septim has not attempted to revitalize Shazar during his wars against the Aldmeri Dominion, we can only speculate that at the time, memories of the Lessian Order follies uh, would only damage his campaign for the Imperial Crown. Damn. We're taking that book with us, what the heck? That is a very good read. That was worth reading. It was it was very dense. Like, it's kind of a lot of information at once. I feel like my brain needs to process it a little bit, and I need to reread it at some point. But it's interesting that, like, some of the... Sorry, I'm trying to find where the book is again in my inventory. Um... It's interesting that, like, Perhaps some of the religions in this game, or in other games maybe even, you know, it's not like all, as they say they are, face value, like there's, that's a sick fucking drawing, holy shit, screenshotting that. Wait, where'd it go? I accidentally closed it. Pfft. Where'd it go? <laughs> it's interesting that things aren't like just at face value with they say they are. I could read into it way more. What's up, Riley? Hi, Ark. Um, I went to the video game shop to get my PS2 games resurfaced. Apparently my copy of Battlefront 2 shattered in the disc cleaning machine. Oh no! What the heck? I'm sorry, dude. That's terrible. They, what are they gonna do about that? Like, are they gonna, I don't know, sacrifice their firstborn child to you or something? I feel like that's fair. That would be fair. They gave me some free games as consolation. That's good, at least. What games did you get from them for free? Anything cool? Did you get Neopets of Darkest Fairy? It's one of my favorite PS2 games of all time. to pay for the damage in disc cleaning machine. Imagine. <laughs> oh, I thought this was a book. It's a... It's like a... little chair flipped over. Repent your crimes, a wicked one. Oh! I think... Oh, okay. I think this is the church I'm supposed to go to at the very end of my pilgrimage. I haven't done my whole pilgrimage yet. I've only probably done half of it. I think this is the final step. That's cool that now I know where to go. Oh, there's a fucking portal over there. Show up at the right time you're repenting. Um, I still have more to re repent. I didn't get to all the shrines yet. I'm repenting for a lot of things. I've fucked up many, many times. <laughs> I'm repenting to the mages guild. I'm repenting to the gods. A lot of, a lot of saying sorry today in, in Oblivion. Let's 
see it. I got kicked out of the Mages Guild for stealing, even though I didn't even steal anything. I accidentally tried to pickpocket someone. It was, I didn't even take anything. It was a full-on misclick. Um, but now I have to collect 20 Dragon Stung, which I have 9. That's pretty good. 9 out of 20. And I need 20 Red Wart Flower, which I have 14! That's pretty good, too! Yo, I'm almost done with my penance. So we're, we're frolicking through the forest trying to find flowers. I'm gonna sleep in the bed though, cause I, it's getting dark out here. It's, flower picking is easier in the daytime. Oh, it's only 4 p.m.? Why is this getting so dark in game? That's okay, well, nice long rest. What's up Cletus, what do I do today before my stream? Um, not that much, I guess. Played with my prairie dogs. That's about it. Whoa. Causing a ruckus in this place. I do not believe her. She is a pickpocket. I... I don't know if I, I can have that title. I'm very bad at pickpocketing, clearly. Any news on getting a cat? I don't think I'm gonna get a cat. I wish. It is my lifelong dream, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I'll stick to my cat calendars, I guess. You need a cat. I mean, I would love to have a cat, but I don't know. I'm, I've, I have very much like accepted. I'm probably never in my life gonna have a cat because Jimmy's so horribly allergic. But also like I have rodents. I don't think rodents and cats mix together so well, also. I don't think they're usually buddies. I, I would prefer my prairie dogs not live their life in fear, you know? Just because I selfishly want a cat. Ah, oh, there's a troll over there. Hell yeah! Give rodents a great start for a cat colony. No, I have pet rodents that I love dearly. <laughs> I have pet rodents I would like to keep alive for, you know, 10 to 14 years. Happy and healthy and not with spiked cortisol living in fear because of a cat. <laughs> I'd like Grubby and Larry to be safe and sound. Okay, I'm trying to make my way towards... What is that? I'm trying to make my way towards Breville still. Keep it moving towards the east. She a baby cat, have it raised by Grub and Larry. Proud gay parents. Um, I think they're related, so let's not let's not <laughs> call them that. <laughs> they are siblings. I'm not 100% sure if Grubby and Larry are from the same litter, but if they are from like the same breeder, so it's very possible they're from the same litter. They look very different from one another though, so I don't know. Hard to say. There's a very high chance they are related. I guess they could have the same father, if anything. Yeah, I, I have heard that you could raise, like, a baby animal with, um, like, with other animals and have them acclimate. But it, I'm just, like, afraid of, you know, like, the oh. natural... I just heard someone talk. What the fuck? Holy shit! I'm being ambushed by bandits! <laughs> Why is she damning me? I didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm afraid of just like the natural animal instinct of like being a... Uh, like the prairie dogs are prey animals and, you know, cats are, are predators, kind of, in some capacity. So I'm just afraid of their natural instincts. I don't want them to not have a good life just because they're living in fear all the time. Oh, I fucked that bandit up. Damn. 
was fucked up, but it had to be done. All self-defense. Ah, over encumbered. Come on. I have to leave the glass battle axe because I need room in my inventory for flowers <laughs> to get to the fucking mage guild. That was a joke. You actually should do that. Well, that is a thing. Like you can definitely acclimate animals with each other. It. Like, and when they're young, it's possible for sure. Strong spell. Some people are just too allergic as well. Thankfully, I don't have reactions to my cats. My mom had to give us her cat, because even with allergy shots monthly, she just couldn't do it. Really? That sucks. Yeah, Jimmy is, like, pretty fucking allergic. I think he would try allergy shots, but... Yeah, with how allergic he is, that could definitely end up being the case. I feel like it's just not worth trying. Like, just be too sad. Repair hammer. I needed that. Two repair hammers. Yeah, those two bandits were just living in this house. Just doing their thing. Kind of feel bad that they died. You're afraid of keeping cats because you think you'll develop an allergy? Like, you don't have an allergy, you think you'll just randomly get one? I guess I don't know enough about that to know if that happened. They only had one bed. They were in love. Okay, and they're chopping wood. They aren't really like, they're trying to build a life together. Why did they have to attack me? I wouldn't have killed them if they didn't attack me first. Damn, look at this flying flower, floating flower. Beautiful. Develop an allergy after a really bad infection. Interesting. Did not know that. Well, you know, that's all to say. I I've accepted I'm probably never gonna have a cat. I guess I, I wouldn't say never, but the chances are very low. I've pretty much made peace with it. I still really want a cat. I think I'm always gonna really want a cat, no matter what. But, um, you know, it's just not in the cards for me. Life didn't pan out that way. No cats for me. I'll never be the crazy cat lady I was meant to be. And why do these forest ladies hate me? that can massively reduce the common allergen in them. Yeah, I've heard about that. That's like the one thing where it's like, that's definitely worth trying. Um, I don't think I'll ever get to try it just cause, you know, it's too much of a risk to get a cat and then start like feed it that and see if it um, helps. And then like, you know, it turned out it doesn't help and we have to give the cat back. That would, that would probably break me, but um, You know, it's nice to know that it exists if you already have cats and you're worried about becoming allergic to them. There is food that that helps. Ooh, there's something over here. Just ask someone with a cat do it, bring it over to a neutral location. 
Every time someone says that, I always say the same thing where it's like, I don't think you can ask someone to change their pet, like their pet's diet. I, I personally, I think it's a very personal thing, like what you choose to feed your pet. Like obviously you are gonna do your own research and find like the best food that, that, that you think is the best for your own pet. I feel like it's very overstepping to like ask someone else to change what they feed their cat. Just, especially with like that kind of thing. To like see if it helps allergies. I don't know. I I would never ask someone to to try that. Like if someone told me to change what I feed my prairie dogs, I would say fuck no, <laughs> because we you know we research the best food for them and that's what we feed them. I'm not gonna feed them some experimental food. So I wouldn't ask someone else to do that to their pet. Also, I think some people don't care, but I definitely care. So I, I would feel weird asking someone else to change what they feed their, their pets too. Hey, Nola Fear, thank you for the, the, the raid. I'm stuttering. What wow, a terrible time for an ad to play. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it won't let me pause it. Oh, Twitch, you're ruining my life. So sorry, but thank you so much for the raid. If you could hear me, I hope we had a really good stream. Have fun with Oblivion. Thank you. Let me, let me do a little, little shout out. I forget how to do the commit. Oh, I found it. Yeah, I should follow Nolafir. They play, play Oblivion as well in other games too, like Zelda. It's not offered to feed my pets for weeks slash months for tests. As long as the pet ain't throwing up or in pain, I do it to be honest to see if it can help slash save money. That makes sense. I I get it's a very case by case basis, I guess. Like I said, everyone's different. Like for me, I it, even if someone said they'd pay for the prairie dogs' food for a year, if they you know if it wasn't the food that we're already feeding them, I would say fuck no. <laughs> I would say fuck no, because we researched a lot to find the best food for him, make him the healthiest. <laughs> I would eat cat food if someone asked me. I've ate dog food before. When I was a little kid, I ate dog food. Like just like the dried kibble dog food. It was not very good, I'll tell you that. We just started the Resident Evil 4 remake today. Have you ever played any Resident Evil games? I have not, but I heard they're really good. I think that remake one is the one I heard about that people really like. If it if it came out like in the past couple years. I know there is a Resident Evil that came out a couple in the past couple years that was like really highly rated. Highly regarded. There's a guy I used to work with that would eat every type of dog food we sold. He said if he can't eat it, his dog can't eat it? No way! <laughs> like he... He would just take like a bite of it just to see? <laughs> what was he like, what was he testing it for? Like was it for the taste or if it would make him sick or something? I mean, I guess, like, if, if he was testing it for his dog, that's true devotion. Like, I respect it, but kind of a... Kind of a very intense way to go about it. Okay, how close are we to Breville? What have I been? All right, we're getting there. We're almost to Breville. I have a feeling Breville is going to be a really cool city. I think, I think it's going to be very beautiful. I don't want to get my hopes up, but I think it's going to be very beautiful. It's like a beautiful name. It's fucking called Breville. If it doesn't look like Brazil, I'm going to be disappointed. My dad eats cat treats in front of my cat. For what reason? 
When I was a little kid, I ate dog food, like dog kibble, because the lady that was babysitting me was like, I remember she was trying to deter me from eating dog food by saying like, hey, if you eat dog food, it's gonna turn you into a dog. Like, you don't want that. And I was like, no fucking way. And I tried it. It did not turn me into a dog and it did not taste very good. Yeah, she fucking lied to me. It's a cute little waterfall. Every time I see a waterfall, I always have to see if it can go behind the waterfall. Nope. <laughs> it's just such a common video game thing to put a little secret behind a waterfall. Like you, you always gotta check. Didn't turn into a dog? No. Alright, how are we? Okay, we're done with Red War. We got 20! 20 red wart. We just need dragon, dragon's tongue, and I only need two more. Holy shit! We're almost, we're almost done with my, with my penance. We're almost gonna be allowed back in the mage guild. To fucking save the game. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't delete that. Okay, two more dragon's tongue. Dragon's tongue is yellow. We're looking for yellow plants. Need to test my cat's food because they'll scream endlessly until I give them it, so I imagine it's good enough. <laughs> yeah, they probably wouldn't scream for it like that if it if they didn't like it too much. Alright, where's Breville? We gotta be getting close. Flowers are getting kind of, kind of scarce. Found a non-quest log quest in the high northern zone. Led me to a ring with plus three to all my stats. I love Oblivion. That's really cool. The non, I respect a non-quest log quest. I keep moving east. I know these ruins look really interesting. I'll go, let me, let me go up to the door so it marks on my map, at least for later. Come back here sometime. Wait, when he, <laughs> when Yondawick is the name of this ruin. Let's take a little peek, let's take a little peek. Beautiful. I'd love to explore it, but I'm like, I'm fucking laser focused on finishing this flower quest. I'm so close to being done. And we're so close to Breville. I, I do really want to go there for the first time. So, can't get distracted. Hi, Marmalade. Love the braids. Thanks. Thank, thank you. Switching it up today. Oh, there's a scary looking guy over there. Trolls really fucking do not like fire. My parents, cats used to love their wet food until they discovered cooked ham, like the lunch meat stuff. Do they not want to eat their old food anymore? <laughs> That's funny. I wish I could, like, give more treats and stuff to the prairie dogs, but prairie dogs have super, like, sensitive stomachs that you really can't... You can't, you can't really give them treats. Like, it has to be a super rare, seldom thing. Just every once in a while. Every once in a while, a tiny, teeny little portion. And it's like a... There's specific things you can give them as treats, like baby carrots or something. Which sometimes we do. 
Grubby likes baby. Grubby likes any food because he's a chubby boy. But Larry doesn't even like baby carrots. Not even a good treat for him. Damn, it's getting pretty over here. It's getting a little bit like tropical. Look at these trees. <gasps> and there's a town. We've made it. Grab these plants. Damn, dude, this is really pretty. Holy shit. That's a desktop background right there. Let's go. Let's go take a closer look. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this town. Something about a town near water is just so... So it's just peaceful. It feels extra peaceful when a town is surrounded by water or like a little river or something. Oh, fuck, that's an ogre over there. Ooh. Oh, I thought this was harvestable. <laughs> this uh, plant. You're back with pizza? Ooh, a kind. I've been craving pizza for so long that I've still not gotten one. I think I've been craving pizza for like a month now and I still haven't gotten one. It's really hot in Vegas today. Um, it's 80 degrees today. It's cold in my house, so that's why I gotta wear a sweater. Dude, I love the biome here. I like the... I think this is like a willow tree from RuneScape. <laughs> this is just like RuneScape suddenly. Also, how are you supposed to enter the town? I see the little door right there, but I, I think that's for boats. That's a fucking bandit right there. Destruction magic up by using it more. I will kill you with magic. My destruction skill increased. I need a final blow with melee. Was that 15 pounds? I could I could take that. I can't carry the weapon, but I could sell the armor. Me into this fucking town. I see a nin or not nin root, urn root. Grab it. Dude, where is the entrance? I mean, I'm gonna swim up to the door and see if they let me in that way. Can I sell the water walking amulet? No, I think I'm wearing it. Yeah, I'm wearing it. I think it's my only enchanted necklace. Let me in! No, you can't go in this way! Come on! Where is the door? I think that water walking amulet only works sometimes, because I definitely sink down a little bit. Or maybe I just don't know how to walk on water. I can't believe they're leaving Jesus at the gate like that. I know. I'm out here performing a miracle right now, walking on this damn water. Oh, this looks amazing. And they won't let me in. Chaden Hall is my favorite city in the game. I don't think I've been to Chaden Hall yet. Ooh, what the heck? Weird little statue shaped like a face over there. We gotta check that out. First, I gotta make it into the city. Maybe it's so there's a way to swim with the amulet on. That makes sense. That island looking like Fortnite Loot Lake. <laughs> I wish I remembered what Fortnite looked like <laughs> to, to tell. 
All right, we made it. Good evening. It's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods. Okay. That's too bad. Okay. When did I even fucking steal? I've never been here before in my life. Like, actually, you guys know for a fucking fact I've never been to this town in my life. So that's crazy. Wow, what a great... What a great introduction to this awesome town that I'm definitely gonna fucking like now. Definitely gonna like this town that arrested me first step ever. Uh, it does look really pretty, though. This is Bruma, too. <laughs> Greetings. Hey, this shop looks cool. I can't even see anything. Oh, I need to run to the entrance. That is the most bullcrap way to enter a city for the first time ever. I'm fucking teleporting to the entrance. That sucked. I want my proper first time introduction to the city to be normal and not be being dragged away to jail. Been conjuring up dead can't believe you tried to- you tried to ruin my first impression! <laughs> Bro was like, greetings, you're arrested. <laughs> that fucking happened in Bruda- or not Bruda, Bruma. And it made me not like that town, so I'm, I'm not gonna let that happen this time. I'm also gonna sleep until morning. I want a good first impression, a good normal first impression. Not being dragged away against my will to jail. Alright, Breville, I'm ready to meet you for the first time. Never been here before. Being in jail did not count. Hmm. Can I take that without- am I arrested for taking what? that? Alright, I'm allowed to take flowers. Hmm. I like this guy, he's polite. He's like a Walmart greeter type guy. My first impression is that it looks kind of like, I don't know, it looks kind of poor. I feel like it's just the wooden, the wooden buildings make it look poor. But then like here, you see the water, it looks really cool. It doesn't look poor anymore. They, they actually have really cool shaped buildings. That's different. I like this, I like this little platform. What's up? What are they drinking? What? What are you guys doing? What the heck? He can't even stop taking a sip to talk to me for a second. He's... What the fuck? <laughs> Have you heard about Kavach? They say that Daedra came from He's oblivion stop drinking. and burned the whole city to the <laughs> ground. He's fucking crazy. I can see his teeth. Dude, this is why he don't do drugs. Ruining his... Look at his... Look at his teeth. They're fucked up now. You too. Go ahead, please. They both won't stop. They say that when you murder someone... The Dark Brotherhood comes to <laughs> He's drowning in that shit. It's how they recruit new members. <laughs> okay. <Can you> <laughs> One sip of skewma will do that to you. Can't even lead a normal life, normal conversations. Will consume you. Hmm. Honestly, despite being arrested right away as soon as I walked in, I do like this town. I like the little, like the moat. Oops, I fell. Of course. Be seen. Hello. Go ahead. Hello. It's a, it's a pretty town. Definitely getting arrested right away. Left left a bad first impression. Yeah, it is kind of rift in vibes with, with the water. I'm Yuravasa Othralas, priest of Mara. I'm also a speechcraft trainer. Ooh. I can help you make different mistakes, at least. What the heck does she mean by that? Mara guides Breville. and protects Braville, like she Breville. protects any good family. Like any good family, we have our problems. What kind of problems? She doesn't leave home much, but apparently Luciana Galena has a lot of experience fighting in light armor. Will I do the Dark Brotherhood? Let's do business. Probably. Ooh, I need a I need a health spell. Heal greater wounds. I think. I don't remember what one. I think I need that. I don't know what kind I have. Hmm. 
Thank you. Bye. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade. Wait. No, it's not. Why is... Why does this one cost more magic, but it heals for less? I don't understand. Twenty times two. Oh, I was misunderstanding it. I thought it meant, you know, within two seconds you'll heal twenty points instead of it being like instant. I guess two seconds kind of it's close to instant. Okay, so this one is better. I was a misunderstanding. I thought I meant it would heal you twenty points of health slower. Can I cast it though? Um, no. My skill level's too low. What's my restoration skill? I thought it was really high. 47? Damn. Not quite there yet. Sad. Um, what difficulty am I playing on? I put it back to default. I increased it to like 60 for the first, like like 60 out of 100, when the default is 50. I put it to 60 for my first couple days playing, and it really, really I fucked shit up for Olavet me. I am the Fair, Mara's living saint. It is my responsibility hey, not to upside, preach, dude? but to live Mara's commands as an example to others. Tell me about this My town. task is to know and love the people of Breville as if they were my own children. If you've ever been a parent, you know what a challenge that is. <laughs> what? Be seeing ya. No one's telling her that she needs to love everyone that, that fucking hard. The hardest difficulty is hilarious. We'll just take over 30 hits to kill at the start and they can two hit you. Yeah, that's fucking wild. It was taking me like, I'm not even joking, sometimes up to 10 minutes to kill a single enemy with just 60 difficulty. It was really scaled strangely. I am the healer, Mars of Black Mars. A healer? By the grace of... Pay Teach me something. And you can learn a lot. I'm gonna spend money on this. I would really like to, to cast my new spell. Let's go. Restoration skill increased. I came to Breville because Mara called me. Braville is not my home. I miss Black Marsh, but I shall serve here so long as Mara needs me. Hmm. Interesting. Right, how much did that train my restoration? Oh, it only le leveled me up one point. I mean, that's better than nothing, I guess, but... I mean, this sounds kind of cool. Well, does anyone see City Swimmer? Is he gliding beneath the silver water? <laughs> Is he creeping round a corner, hugging got a, a wall, resident swimmers a shadow in the dark? Slithering around. No, I am here. I stand proud before you, City Swimmer, trainer of the prospective sneaker, the sly sliding unseen. What a title she just gave herself. What? You have not eyes to see? The castle, of course. The only challenge worthy of a swift sneaker. I heard Ita Reynas talking about the geography of Tamriel again. She's very knowledgeable. Hmm. Interesting, Farewell. I guess. Alright, let's visit some of the shops. I want to go to the alchemy store. Got a lot of shit to sell. Maybe I could... <laughs> Look at this statue, the little babies, what the fuck? Oh! You reach up, kiss a lucky old lady on the cheek, and you'll- and hope you'll get your wish. <gasps> I didn't make a wish, though. Fuck. I didn't know that you could kiss the statue. Give me a little- give me a buff or something. I have fortified luck, let's go. Damn, I didn't make a wish, though. Next time I gotta make a wish. The babies are wacky looking. 
doesn't seem very sanitary. <laughs> no, it does not. I want to go to that store with the glowing hand on it. Which one? Where did that one go? It's near where I got sent to jail. There it is. The gray fox protects you. Greetings. A Warlock's Luck is the name of the store. That's pretty cool. Take a chance on the Warlock's Luck. <laughs> Just kidding. Everything is all perfectly safe. <laughs> Tested it myself. Ungarian, retired adventurer. You may have heard of me. Definitely have not, but... Can I interest you I'll in see some of my sell work? It. I really wish he sound dragon's tongue. I just need two more dragon's tongue. He sells red wart, but I don't need that anymore. I got all of them. Damn, his his wares kind of suck. Let's see if I can sell anything though. I have so much flaxseed. You got a great deal there. I. This isn't even like a potion Farewell. store. I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be a potion what store. Do you... What Have a this? look around. Oh, he you sells won't spells. Find better prices in all That's cool. Flame touch. Uh. Hmm. I don't really want any of these. You too. Let's look around. What a suspicious little little house. Very glowy in here. <laughs> Just looking. Just looking. Gamble because my luck is boosted. It would be it would be nice to gamble right now, but I don't think I can. Are you trying out the summon spider spell you spent 500 gold on? No, I haven't. Not yet. Not yet, but I will. That was a Bex. You'll always get a fair deal here. I'm Nellowin. What can I interest you in? What does she sell? Robe of creativity. I need that in real life. Hmm. An excellent bargain. That's more than I'd usually pay. I'm gonna sell some of these random scrolls I have. I don't use them. I guess. Good day. Huh. I don't really know what else to check out in Breville while we're here. I guess I could go see near the castle. That's all about. <laughs> Will kiss statues for two dragon tongue? I honestly would. I need them bad. Well, let's see what's over there. There's a little bridge that way. Across the water. Dude, it is non-stop raining in game today. Can't get a break from the rain. Or was this the entrance of the city? I don't know. Oh, I see Nern Root. I still need 20 Nern Root to bring to that Cinderian guy. Nice. Do you guys like when it rains? Like in real life? Do you think he could live somewhere where it rains? I'm only I don't know, like 90 or 80% of the time. I feel like I like the rain, and I would like if it rained all the time. 
Like, in my head, I think that, but I think if, like, I actually lived somewhere like that, I would probably miss the sun. I love rain, but I wouldn't be able to live somewhere like that. I think same for me. I do really like when it rains. Like, I do think it's super peaceful, but if all I ever got was rain, I think I'd be pretty tired of it. Yeah, because then I can't hear my tinnitus anymore. That is a big bonus of background sound in rain. I guess I, everyone that has tinnitus has got to migrate to where it rains all the time. I never thought of that. The Archer's Paradox. The what archery store? I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. A fi I If I can't... Yeah, I picked up some Can armor to sell. I forgot. Some of a fine transaction. Tell your f Be a tired of it, but as an Englishman, it's part of the culture. That makes Easy. sense. I live on a tropical island, so it's kind of too much if it rains 90% of the time. You live on a tropical island? That sounds so cool. Couldn't even tell you the last time I've been anywhere tropical. Move some raining, put a steel roof on my house. That would sound so nice. My go-to, like, if I need sound to fall asleep to and I don't have, like... I sleep with, like, a white noise machine. Um, but if I don't have that, I always look up... Since I was, like, a kid, my go-to YouTube video is Rain on Tent 4. 4 being 4 hours. Rain on Tent 4 hours. Always my go-to YouTube video to fall asleep to. I like the sound of a rain on it, rain on a tent, or like kind of noisy roof of some sort. And this fucking castle courtyard is super fancy. They got money. They got money right here. I fall asleep to Morrowind gameplay. Hey. <laughs> yes. That'd be pretty cozy. It's not like you see the sun anyway. True, but I like to know it's there sometimes. I like a little bit of sunlight coming in through my window sometimes. I like this painting. That's a good picture. You smell of death. Been conjuring up dead things. Can't Regulus Tarantius, Count Breville. Good of you to introduce yourself, stranger, but no point really. Uh, I'm the Count, and you have no business talking to the Count, right? Good. All straightened out. Off with you then. Wow, very, <laughs> very friendly guy. Really like him. Really like that guy. Hi there. Yeah, why is he holding meetings right now then? Why is why is his building open to the public if he doesn't want to talk to anyone? Well, this guy can go you to wear a meeting. The shadows well, fellow thief. How does he know? Let's What's see this? if we can't teach you a thing or two. Oh. He just didn't want to talk to me specifically. <laughs> it's probably the pink hair. Definitely sometimes people got an opinion about it. Tropical is cool for vacation, but I would never live there. Too many critters. There's definitely lots of mosquitoes and gnats, but no predator predatory land mammals. That's cool. I am definitely... I'm very afraid of bugs. The other day I went on a walk and a fucking moth, as I was walking, flew like right here, like into my hair, right here. It was kind of like bouncing around in my, in my hair for a second. And it was just a moth, like it's nothing super scary, but it freaked me out so bad I had to go home and immediately shower. Because just the fact that a bug touched my skin, ugh, it's really, I do not fucking like it. Is there no mage guild in this town? I can't find the mage guild. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not allowed in the mage guild right now anyway, but I just want to see if there is one. I don't think this town has one. What's this building? Oh wait, never mind. This is the mage guild. Hello. I'm Fathis Aran, Count Breville's staff wizard. 
I can teach you conjuration. Yes! Oh. No, I, I want him to teach me, like, sell me a spell. Take care. Damn, this Mage's Guild is nice. Wish I was allowed in here. Hello. I'm Ardeline. I'm the Guild's advanced trainer in alchemy here. Let's do business. Wish I was allowed to, you know, hang out here for an extended period of time, but they don't want me. They don't want me yet. I, I'm gonna go repent in a second. Almost done with gathering my flowers. Maybe she sells flowers. Oh! <gasps> okay, I only need one more dragon's tongue. Only one more dragon's tongue. Let's fucking go. Come back and see. Thank you, Ardalyn. You just saved me. Be seeing you. I have heard I'm going to find one plant. That's not cheating. I paid for it fair and square. I just need one more now. I guess let's go look outside the town. Where's the exit? Refresh. I gotta. I gotta delete that message. <laughs> Hey, Cletus, thank you for the five gifted subs. Let's fucking go, dude. Thank you for your service. Welcome everyone that got a sub. Thank you so much, Cletus. That was very generous of you. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How goes it? Bro's gonna know you got it from a fellow member. I don't think that's against the rules, though. He, did he say I have to pick the flowers myself? I don't think he did. I think he just said I have to get them. By any means necessary. He didn't even say... I could, probably, I could probably murder someone and take the flowers from them. He didn't say that's against the rules. Let's go check that out. Become my favorite streamer. I seriously mean that. Thank you, Flynn. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I'm honored that, that you feel that way. Glad, glad you have a good time here. Hey, what's up, Val? Oh, fuck, an ogre. Why is he running away? What? Ogres don't usually run away. This is weird. Okay, he's not running away anymore. Oh shit, I still have my wrong magic spell. Healing spell equipped. I'm all healed up. I'm ready. There we go. Oh, that's a fallen zerker. What's up, Heave or Heva? This is my favorite game as a kid. I'm 27 now. They were the same age. I think this might end up being my favorite game, like now. I didn't get to play this as a kid. Um, very late to Elder Scrolls. I've never played Oblivion, but I've played Skyrim. What do you like better about each now that you've played both? Um, I still feel like it's... I, well, I feel like it's still kind of early in my Oblivion playthrough. I have, like, about 30-something hours in this game. So, definitely, I, I have definitely played quite a bit, but I still feel super early in my playthrough for me. Um, I guess just comparing it to Skyrim, because I had, like, 150 hours on Skyrim by the time I was, like, done playing it for now. Um, 
But I'll say for sure, like, I think Skyrim's exploration is a little bit better. Like, I think there's a bit more variety for things to explore in Skyrim. But also, I have not explored that much in Oblivion yet, so that could change. Like, today, this town right here, this is my first time ever going to this town. I still haven't been to every city in the game yet, so a lot more to explore. But if, it just felt like there was more, like, random camps and stuff in Skyrim. Um, but I think the combat in this game is better than Skyrim. Just for me personally, like based on my tastes. Well met, traveler. Have you heard the call of Whoa. the prophet? Do you walk the pilgrim's way? I do. I do as actually. Do I. Perhaps we can share the road, as long as our paths lie together. Hmm. This guy is also going on the pilgrimage. That makes him my rival. He is dripped out. I have taken up the prophet's call to defend the faith. Hmm. Only a true I also knight did that. wielding the Crusader's relics can stop the evil that now threatens us. I walk the Pilgrim's Way, as did the questing knights of old. I would be glad of your company on the road, if your way lies with mine. Hmm. I don't want to take his gear, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, he seems like a nice guy. I like that he... <laughs> He doesn't seem threatened by me, and I'm just here like, hmm, there can only be one pilgrim, actually, I think. <laughs> You've heard him. Like me, you know he speaks the truth. If the Nine will it, I will be the one to recover the Crusader's relics. Mm, I think that'll be me. Or perhaps that honor will fall to you. Yeah, I think it'll actually be me, but it's a nice thought that he thinks it the would be him. Of the nine upon your <laughs> He's like a genuine good guy, and I'm just here being petty as fuck for no reason. <laughs> oh, this must be one of the shrines. Wait, Shrine of Zenithar. Woohoo! I feel like I've, like, repented at almost all of them. I, well, I can't even look at that right now. I gotta, gotta do my quest. I can't get sidetracked. My quest right now is to... I need one more plant. I need one more dragon's tongue, and they'll let me back into the mages guild. I was sent on a long, painful journey to gather plants to repent for my sins so that I could join the mage guild again because they kicked me out for stealing. But they said I could come back if I just get these fucking plants and I almost have them. I'm missing one. I need one dragon's tongue and I'm done. But I'm not seeing a lot of dragon's tongue around here. What'd you steal? Was it worth it? No! It wasn't worth it because I didn't even steal anything. I misclicked on one of my fellow members of the Mages Guild. I thought I was going to talk to them, but I was accidentally crouched like this, so I was sneaking. And I, I pressed to talk to them and it made me put my hand in their pocket and I didn't even take anything but just the fact that I put my hand in there that was enough that was enough for them to kick me out and make me suffer <laughs> make me suffer to be let back in didn't even fucking get anything out of it worst mistake of my life worst misclick of my entire life Damn, no wonder keep your hands to yourself. Oh, I will. I will keep my hands to myself. I'll never... I'll never make that mistake again. I'll tell you that. Ever, ever. Let's check out what's in here. Oh, mud crabs. Yo, my shit is glowing cool right now. What the fuck? Why am I glowing like purple? What? Oh, I think I have a- I see on the top right that blessing of some sort. I look amazing. Oops. Yeah. I hear people talking in game. I'm getting distracted. I can't- I can't explore this cave right now. I need one dragon's tongue. I gotta- I gotta stick to my task. I gotta stick to my task. I wanna be allowed in the mage guild so badly. Bowling, thank you. My hand just fell in your pants. <laughs> That's 
pretty much what happened. I know it sounds crazy, but that is pretty much what happened. It was a misclick. Oh, fuck. It was basically like my hand slipped. Oh, God, I'm running away from that. I, I'm not... Did you see that electricity in the sky? Uh oh. I'm not gonna find a dragon's tongue in there. I gotta keep... <laughs> I gotta steer clear. I gotta find the path again. I lost the path. Have I learned Daedric yet? No. <laughs> that seems like something that'd be pretty hard to learn. <laughs> How did all your money end up in my pocket? <laughs> See, I didn't even, I didn't even get to get to that part. Didn't even get to the actually stealing anything. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. <laughs> Man, I'm missing all my attacks. I fucking missed. How's she not dead? Oh! Do your work. There you go. <gasps> that thing is still chasing me. Oh my god. Move. Oh my god, bandit, we got bigger problems. We got bigger problems behind you. Just turn around for a fucking second. You're not gonna wanna fight me. If he just looked around, looked behind him, he would change his mind so quickly about wanting me dead. Oh my, what the fuck? Hey, how about these two? figure it out instead of wanting me dead. I'm out here just picking flowers. There's no reason for this hostility against me. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, okay, 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 I'll fucking... I'll fucking fight, I guess. I can't even, I can't even hit him. Whoa! I changed my mind, I don't wanna fight. There's gonna be a guard on the road at some point. I could definitely kill this thing. I just, you know, I just got other business. Alright, the bandit's killing the Minotaur at least. Thank fucking god. Thank fucking god he realizes there's bigger problems. Chasing me for the rest of my life. Huh. Ow! <laughs> oh my fucking god, and there's a bear. Come on! I'm out, this bitch. I bet I'd find the flower I need if if, if I wasn't being um, attacked. 
attempted murdered all the time. The bear just wants to cuddle. Oh, I've fallen for that before. I'm not falling for that again. What is this place? This is an inn? It's a nice little safe haven for me. Thank fucking god. A forester. A park Hail. ranger. We got plenty of rooms if you want one. Tell me about this little <laughs> place. That's a horrible name for an inn, I know, but I just can't bring myself to change it. <laughs> Besides, I like the sign. What's it called? The Ill of Bad Omen? Or Inn of Ill Omen? Have it's a look castle. around. You won't find better. Watch for minotaurs in the forest. Oh, I know. Aggressive beasts. They'll tear right through your armor, too. Who is piercing all the minotaurs' noses? <laughs> Dude, they're so badass for probably doing it themselves. Friends, ah, I can't repair my armor. Is open for business, as always. Yeah, what? I still got I'll, I'll sleep here. Maybe it'll get me out of combat. Alright then, you're Farewell. And tell your friends. The inn of Ill Omen is open for business, as always. Wow, what a bed. I can't sleep with enemies nearby. Come on. There's not even enemies nearby. Greetings, Nord. Good evening. I'm not even in combat. In basin, raids from rolling farmlands by the river east to the rugged uplands of the Vallis Mountains. I think we're chill now. Well, I paid for the room, so I'm Hail. sleeping in the bed. What the fuck? I still. Die, damn you! Oh! Uh, my athletic skill leveled up. Wow! <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, we punch him to death. Nice. Oh, wait. Stop it. Stop! There you go. Oh, did he die? Oh, no! He actually died. The innkeeper died! You have my ear, citizen. Can I still sleep in the bed at least? Well, I mean, I paid for it. How'd you get him inside? He just fucking... He went through the door! He went through the door on his own. I don't I don't control what the storm Atronax do or whatever he was. Sorry, one sec. Killed an innkeeper to not have to pay for a room. Well, I already paid for it, but I did get my money back. Where'd the other guy go? The forester. Well, I guess this is kind of my inn now, in a way. In a strange way, it's like I own this place now. Ooh, private quarters. It's kind of creepy. What does it take for foot to get a pineapple pizza these days? The stars got to align. Ooh, what's up with this place? It's like nothing interesting in here. <laughs> Just a fucking bed. You know, for an inn called the Inn of Ill Omen, it's actually extremely normal down here. I was kind of really expecting something crazy. But, uh, nope, it's normal. Dude, RIP the innkeeper. He was a good guy.
Hello, stranger. We don't get many visitors around here. Makes things pretty lonely for me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um? The only people that stay here are stragglers on the green road. Me, I got no place else to be. Besides, I think Mannheim is sweet on me. Oh man, bad news. He fucking passed yeah, away. right. Can I take that? She doesn't mind. Well, damn, this is a chill-ass place. I'm sad that the innkeeper died. I hope that someone comes to replace him. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't even fucking care. She just walked past a dead body. Does not give a damn. Anyway, um, let's keep it moving. Where are we? Oh. Holy shit, the map goes this far south? Wait, the map's actually way larger than I thought. Yeah, this whole right side of the map I've never been to. I, I don't, I haven't been to Chaden Hall. And I've not been to Leowin. Damn, dude, the map is fucking huge. That's cool. We got a lot more to explore. I think we'll do some exploration there today, but first, I still need my one dragon's tongue before anything. No, oh, please. No, oh, please. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> fucking demons! Yeah, I just need one dragon's tongue. I'm not... I'm not trying to be a hero right now. I don't need to close a gate. I just need one dragon's tongue. That's it. Yeah, there's another inn over here. Hello. Hello there. Hello what there. do you want? Rumors. Way shrines of the Nine in the wilderness confer blessings on the righteous and faithful. Alright. Farewell. Oh, what am I to... Can you help me find my lost jumbo potatoes? <laughs> what? Please, you must help me find them. If I don't have them for the next batch of my famous potato bread, I don't potato know what I'll bread. do. How stupid I was to leave them outside all alone like that. All I wanted to do was give them some sun. I saw someone running off to the west, but I'm too frightened to journey into the woods alone. Um, I mean, maybe I can help her with that. At some point, I really just need... Need a fucking... One singular plant. Dragons have been dead for thousands of years. How will you get dragon's tongue? Maybe I gotta take it from the dragonborn or something. Oh, the Imperial City's right there. Let's scout out the area. Yeah, I need to get to the Imperial City. That's where I hand in this quest. I still need one more plant, though. There's an invasion from Oblivion going on. You're fetching flowers and jumbo potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I actually decided that, like, the whole gates of hell opening up thing is, uh, not my problem. Not my problem. You know, it's like, I'm not even the dragonborn, so why do I care? I'm I'm not the hero of the story. Martin is. He could, he could handle it. Just out here trying to be the best mage that the world has ever seen. And in order to do that, I need to be led back into the mage's guild. One dragon's tongue. That's it. That's all that's left. get kicked out 
I ac I accidentally clicked pickpocket on a fellow member when I was trying to talk to him. I was I accidentally stuck my hand into his pocket. Didn't even take anything. Just fucking misclicked, and they kicked me out instantly. What's up with this little little place? Pell's Gate. Go ahead. Damn! What the heck? Look at that helmet. Welcome to Pell's Gate, friend. What is this place? You mean the Holy Hermit of Anvil? No one knows where he comes from, but they say he has the true word. Okay. Bye. Just a random tiny little village. Head on. She got that armadillo helmet weed. <laughs> weed trimmed armor helm. I'm pretty rich right now. 1400? Wait, why does it say this is stolen? Oh, I gotta drop this torch. Before I get fucking arrested again. I don't even... Oh, I guess I stole from the inn. Kind of. I thought I, thought I owned that inn now. Is that the Oath Sword or whatever it's called? Um, mine? It's called the Debaser. I got it from. I don't. What was his name? It starts with an A. It was during a quest in the Imperial City where. Uh, I think his name was Thornier. I, I had to investigate why his prices were so low, and turns out his supplier was taking them from dead bodies. He didn't like that I found out, so he tried to kill me, but I killed him and I got his sword. Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. Huh. Don't need that right now. Alright, I still don't have the one dragon's tongue I need, but I'm hoping I find one in the town or something. Maybe someone's got one in a planter. The Crypt Robber Nord. Yeah! I think his name was like Argamir. Oh shit, look at that horse! <laughs> Oh, yeah, and that's impressive. That horse wants to be adopted so fucking bad, he's gonna start showing off doing tricks. Maybe one day. I don't need a horse right now, but maybe one day. I just look around, like, in people's gardens or something. See if they got a dragon's Hello. tongue. I, f I really feel like I've seen one in the town before, like, growing somewhere. To find like the garden district or something. I'd take that horse. You would love that. I don't really. I haven't like ridden a horse too many times in this game, but I didn't really like it when I did. I felt like it was shaking the screen too much. Um, like, more so than it did in Skyrim, I don't know. Okay. Um... 
There's an alchemy shop. It's you. Hi. Hey. Oh yeah. Look at all these plants. There's gotta be a dragon's tongue somewhere. I fucking swear it's always like the last one. When you have to collect a bunch of things, it's always the last one that's the hardest. There's like nothing here. You ever block slash parry when fighting? Yeah. I think I do it quite a bit. Mounted combat in Skyrim was added very late. By the way, it wasn't always a thing. I don't think I ever even did combat Afternoon. while mounted. My children are starving, please help. Cinderella's in ruins. Hiding in Oh my god. Yes. Super, super like popping out here today. I haven't spent much time there, but if you're looking for light armor, best in it. Ah, ingredient shop. That's what I need. I'm Amantia Selectus, the writer. I'm working on a wrong guy. Any friend of the society let's do business. Dragon's tongue? Nope. Fuck. <laughs> Be seeing you. Okay. Um Well, let's go to Skin grad. I'm so sure there's there's dragon's tongue somewhere here. Well met. Try to cheat your flowers in. It's not cheating to buy them if you give them money fair and square. That's not cheating. If you pay for it, it's fair and square. Okay, the only place I know that there's for sure Dragon's Tongue is this whole southern-ish area. I mean, I guess we could just go over there, but... I just need one. I just need one random flower just growing, just anywhere. Imagine if the police IRL told you to go pick flowers instead of paying a fine. I mean, it's kind of like community service in a way. I feel like that's that's kind of the intention behind it. It's mimicking community service. I'm glad to have a two hour flower picking stream so far. Right, we've done more than just pick flowers. We found some pretty cool things. We've explored, we found a cool church. That church was cool, the Church of the Nine or whatever it's called, or the Nine Priory. That was cool. We went to Breville, got arrested, but ultimately it was okay. it sounds like Brazil. Yeah, I like that too. Alright, let's wait till it's morning. I can't see the flowers in the dark. The darkness. Oh yeah. That's better. I think it's probably like a bandit camp. I gotta watch out. There's a wolf. That's a dog. So sorry. It's just some random person's camp and I just robbed it. Okay. Do you guys see a yellow plant? You pointed out. <laughs> yeah. That part was self defense. But yeah, it's a little, a little fucked up. Oh, what's this little place? Well, um, 
Graveyard? Zombie graveyard? Oh shit. Howling cave. Alright, I can't investigate just yet. One more fucking flower! That's all we need! Just one more. CEO plant, it's outside, outside of your house. Oh. Well, a little bit out of the way right now. My adventure. Hey, another little camp. What the heck? They got something, these sacks. Okay, there's red wart here. That's a good sign. Fuck, this is yellow, but it's not the right one. I think red wart and dragon's tongue grow in the same, similar areas. <gasps> I think that's it. I think that's it. Please. Okay, we're done. We're done picking flowers. <laughs> Let me make sure I have enough. Okay, 20 dragon's tongue. Where's the other one? Fuck yeah. They're gonna let me back into the mage's guild. I earned my place! Yeah, alchemy jail is over. Oh, and I found a little, a little chest. A little prize. Oh! Oh. Ah! Right now, calling an Uber, we're going back to the Imperial City. I'm handing this shit in. Or if they just deny you after making all that. Like, it's supposed to be like this grand lesson, like, sometimes sorry is not good enough. I would cry. <laughs> I think I would break down in tears. Yes. Who's the guy? Ramirez, please, I did it. Let me back in. Very good. For retrieving these items, your status in the guild yes! will be restored. Know, however, that you have only one more such chance available to you. The guild does not take these infractions lightly. Okay, now, only one more chance to fuck up. You may continue about your business. That makes me quite nervous. <laughs> now take may his I pockets. <laughs> some of my fine the wares. first thing I do is steal again. <laughs> Damn, he's got some cool spells. Take care. All right, back in the Mage's Guild, I did it. You have my ear, citizen. I earned my, I earned the my Imperial place. Imperial Legion is at. Let's hope that guy sold stuff. Back in the Mage's Guild. Do you still have to get the recommendations? Yeah. Back to Bruma, worst place in the world. I'm gonna be so careful while we're here. Where is Bruma? Taking an Uber there too. I'm not, I don't, I'm not fucking around anymore. I'm earning my place in the Mage Guild. What's up, Cube? <laughs> that, that's close enough. Close enough to my name. Happy Saturday to you too. Well met. All right, where's the damn guild? There it is. I'm I'm doing a new save real quick just to be safe. I got one more chance before they kick me out forever. Okay, I gotta meet the guy who got me arrested in the living quarters after 10 p.m. Don't mess this up. Ready My to best. find Jaskar? Uh. Is he not gonna say sorry? It was a good idea, wasn't it? I wonder how long she'll spend trying to figure out where she put it down. I don't even, I don't, I don't even trust this guy anymore. Just watch, you'll see. What? <sighs> what the fuck? Um. Hello there. I hear you've been looking for me. 
Oh, please don't be mad. We were just having some fun. We just got tired of you <laughs> lording her position over us when she barely knows anything about it's magic. Too many pranks for Every me. Every now and then, <laughs> we like to trick her. Too many pranks. And we figured it was time to move on to a new prank. This one was getting boring anyway, so you can tell her you found me. That was a great fucking prank. Got arrested for it. Could they do a little trolling in Bruma? <laughs> Be seeing you. Ugh. He's just going straight to bed. I, want, I need to talk to him more. You'd better go talk to Jean before she really loses it. <laughs> we ruined your life. Great prank, huh? Hello? That's how I actually Hi. feel about pranks. I'm not a big prank fan. I don't like being pranked. don't like doing pranks. You look like a bright... Any luck finding Jaskar? Yep. We found him. Found him, did you? My truck. Well... I suppose that's good. You'll have to forgive me. I seem to have misplaced something. Hmm. Yes, well. Imagine Let's she doesn't write my that. recommendation because <laughs> I misplaced you her book. You fulfilled your end of the bargain, though, so I'll fulfill mine. Ramanus yes! will have my recommendation. Let's fucking go! And don't you forget about me once you've finished your training. I'm sure we can help each other out. What does she mean by that? Take care. Major Guild is cool and all, but it seems most of them have serious authority issues. Dude, maybe that's just something that comes with being like a guild leader. I, I feel like you'll find that that's a thing in a lot of places. Like, you know, just like a little, little subsection, little guild. Whoever's in charge, probably. I don't know, people that are drawn to being in charge usually have a bit of an ego, I guess. Not always, but like a lot of time. I'll be right back. I gotta pee. You guys take the front desk. I'll be right back. back. Oh, spilled something. <sighs> Welcome back. Thank you. All right. When I was in Bruma yesterday, um, I got a really cool quest from the Jarl about uncovering some kind of ancient medallion and i want to do that one but i think i should finish my mage guild recommendations first i only got a couple cities left what's the next one chaden hall we should go to chaden hall get my recommendation there and we'll get to see the city for the first time let's sleep first though go eat emiru on the strip it was a feed oh she in vegas that's cool the strip is not very close by to me. It's definitely like a half hour drive, but um In Vegas for UFC. Oh, I didn't know that was happening in Vegas. That's cool. I I didn't know UFC was like that popular to be quite honest. I don't know much about it. Let's pretend we're sleeping. I know they don't have a bed for me in this place. 
Um, are you liking this game after beating Skyrim? Yeah, this game is amazing. It's, uh... I think if you've played Skyrim and you haven't played this, and you're like... Uh... You know, you need something to scratch that itch. This game does it really well. It feels super similar. That's just a mi misdirection. Flit lives in a penthouse right on the strip. <laughs> Imagine. God, that would be cool. That would be a really cool place to live. Maybe, like, the fact that you're living on the strip would suck, but, like, being in a... How do you do? Being in a penthouse, like, apartment or condo anywhere would be fucking amazing. Yes? That's I cool. offer the finest goods and lowest price. Hmm. Oh shit, my armor's broken. I can't sell this ring. I actually don't need both of these. I can probably make so many potions right now with all the <laughs> all the extra flowers I picked. Thank you for your patience. Good day. I wonder what province next Elder Scrolls will be. Oh, I remember people in the chat were like speculating about it. Um, oh, I don't remember what it was called. It started with like an H or something. It's you. They said it was Hi. a desert. I remember some people in the chat were saying they think it's going to be a desert. That's what I remember. Hammerfall. That sounds right. Hammerfell. Yeah, obviously, I don't think that's confirmed. Just what people in the chat were speculating. I think they were saying it was based on something in the trailer. Or, not really, it wasn't a trailer. Like, what, whatever they posted a couple years ago. The teaser didn't confirm anything. Um... It was just some over analysis of the teaser. I see. Well, it's a, it's a guess. I can't even say it's a good guess. It's, it's a guess. <laughs> Let's see if I could make anything worth making. Need a million of those. Fortify magic by 62 points? That's a really good potion. Chameleon. Okay. Good, uh, some good poisons also. Made some cool potions. Chat, what should I order for dinner? Pizza! Hawaiian pizza specifically, because that's what I really want. Hi, Poople Snoop. Watch it end up being Valenwood, just throw everyone through a loop. I think I saw Valenwood on the map earlier today. 
down here somewhere. Unless it's black wood. Never mind. Black marsh. Oh yeah, Fallon wood right here. Elsewhere. I would, I remember those are like, al or not alien, <laughs> what? Elven. <laughs> El Elven places. I think when I was playing a wood elf, I think it said I was from Valenwood or elsewhere. One of those. An elf place would be really cool. I would really like that, personally. Need more, more elf lore. All right, going to Chaden Hall, so kind of southeast slightly is where I need to be going, but I'm gonna try and stick near the path a little bit. I played an Elsewhere mod for Oblivion, it was pretty good. Oh, I see, I see something up there. Where did they get like the, you know, where did they get the map for it from, for the mod? Elsewhere is Khajiit, I think. Oh, I guess I'm mixing things up. Oh shit, these things are fucking strong. Oh my god! I need a poison. I forgot to repair my armor. I just realized my armor is at zero right now. Goblins like actually sound like chimpanzees sometimes. Scary. Rip me in half. Hmm. Take both of those. What is this place? Plundered mine. I don't want to go in there right now. Somerset is Altmer, Valenwood is Wood Elves, and Dunmer is Dark Elves. Okay, so Valenwood is Elves, not just not elsewhere. Let's try Runestone. Hey, that's pretty cool. A cool little little dagger. I'll take it. Can't put it away or I'll lose it. I'll take it for now. Hi Tama. Elder Scroll 6 is Morrowind again. Damn, I haven't even gone to go to Morrowind yet. I have to put my weapon away. I don't want to startle anyone. A beautiful statue. Some beautiful ladies out front. Amira Shrine. Who are you? Why do oh you? Oh my God! She's so wrinkly. Surely you don't think yourself worthy to visit Namira's Shrine. This is number one wrinkliest person in all of Cyrodiil. Hundred percent. There's no one wrinklier. That's fucking crazy. Look at look at her. Like brow bone, it's actually like drooping off of her face. That's crazy. A place of blessed darkness, a holy place where we may worship in our wretchedness. Why are you here? Um, I don't even know much about. I don't 
well, I don't know who Namira is, but I'm gonna say I want to worship her. You are I just too pretty more. to worship in this place. <laughs> People like you what? like to hear you talk. When you are more loathsome, <laughs> you may return. What? It's never happened before in my life. Too pretty to do something. That's insane. I tried the chapels. They're a waste of time. <gasps> Good day. How do the other ladies look? It's my pleasure. Please continue. She looks pretty normal. She looks you normal. You don't have the right offering or you're wasting your time here. Goodbye. Well met. She's a little... She's a little... We something. don't welcome visitors, but we don't murder them either. I respect that, I guess. Her eye is upon you. You are not the type of follower Namira requ requires. What the hell? Let me worship! <laughs> okay, PK Master. I was talking about one message out. I like this little guy on the statue. It looks like a little impling. Why are you here? You are still too pleasing to speak <laughs> with Namira. Well, damn. Well, why is she allowed well here? She looks super normal. Remember, these two, I. This place is she, This lady's nice, so I feel bad saying anything. But I understand why she's here, and I extremely understand why she's here. She looks fine. She looks. I like her hair. I like her. I like her eyes. I think she looks not so bad. They got her convinced she's ugly as a joke. <laughs> I hope Just I can destroyed help. her self esteem. Take care. Kind of. The really wrinkly ones said I gotta be loathsome. So I think, like, if I have a. I guess a really bad. Oops. Really bad reputation or something. Then I um, then I'm allowed here. Unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think I'm a. I don't think I'm ready to fuck up my reputation like that. Shamir's not even real. They just want to bully prettier people. <laughs> I get it. They, just, they need an outlet for their, their pain. Fuck. Alright, well. We're still going towards Chaden Hall. I kind of like off-roading. I get to I get all these ingredients for alchemy. So many fucking flowers when you go off the main road. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Alien. Oh fuck. I don't like this group. I think my enchanted, or not my enchanted, my conjured armor just disappeared. Just drank so many potions.
God. God. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. I keep- I forgot to repair my armor again. That's why I'm getting fucked up right now. Where's the damn, where's the damn forest little lady? I don't remember what she's called. The thing that summons the bear. Can't find her. Oh, it was a real bear. Never mind. Just died to Spory. No. At least, I presume you weren't on a hardcore, so, you know, it happens. As long as you're not on, not on a hardcore, it ain't so bad. We donate for you to order pizza. Um, I mean, I ordered groceries today, so I don't think I'm gonna get pizza today. I have a lot of food in my fridge right now. Hopefully, hopefully soon I'll get pizza for real. Soon it'll be time. The opportunity will, will come. Five types of protein bars. Is it a lot of food? <laughs> I actually, I got real food. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you guys. Um, for anyone that like cooks in the stream, Especially if you like don't cook a lot or like don't really like cooking, but you still do it. Um I wanna try cooking. I don't cook at all right now. I was thinking of trying to cook like I don't know. I don't even want to say once a week. Let's say once once every two weeks or something. Just like very seldomly, just once, I wanna try cooking. But I'd really like to start with something super fucking easy. Like something not overwhelming. You guys got any, got any suggestions? I want to start something super easy so I could like build up my confidence because I have no confidence when it comes to cooking. I don't even want to eat the things I cook most of the time, which just makes me feel like it was a giant waste of time. Um, so I was thinking something nice, easy, build up the confidence. So if anyone has suggestions, let me know. Breakfast food, like bacon and eggs. I can make eggs. I, I can make eggs. I actually, I did get eggs to start. I used to make them a lot. I used to eat eggs every day, but I haven't for a long time. But I did get eggs to start making those again. I never cook like real, like meals, I guess. Breakfast food is real food. I was gonna say real food, but breakfast food is real food, but. Like lunch food, dinner food, I never ever make. Oops. Oh, come on, she she healed to full. Um Pasta, macaroni casserole. That sounds good. I, don't, I know you don't like touching chicken stuff. I'm in the same boat. Yeah, I don't like touching chicken. Oh shit. I can't scroll up and, oh yes I can. Oh fuck. There we go. Oh! I was trying to tab out. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I was trying to tab out so I could scroll up in the chat cause it scrolled, it scrolled down. <laughs> But it doesn't let you tab out when you're- when it's paused like this. Ah oh, damn, they're fucking me up! No! 
<laughs> there we go. God damn. <laughs> Reduxy, how's it going? It's going good. Oh, pretty good. How are you doing? Burgers are good to learn to cook with too, because if you fuck up, it's still edible. People eat it raw. Oh. I don't know if I would eat it eat it raw. Do I have a cast iron pan? Isn't that the one that like you're not supposed to clean or something? I don't that that's a little too advanced for me. I don't wanna fuck with that stuff. There's like one kind of pan you're not supposed to clean with soap or something. I don't remember what kind it is. Hey, we found the path. That's cast iron? Yeah, I don't wanna... I don't wanna mess with that. Too advanced. These are good suggestions. I like the macaroni casserole. I'll have to look up, look up that. Um, chili is simple. Oh, I don't have a crock pot. <laughs> Frozen pizza. That I could handle for sure. Um, I eat fried egg sandwiches and make lots of protein shakes and buy pulled chicken to make sal salads because raw meat grosses me out. Yeah, see, that's a that's a good idea. I have done that before too, like buying pulled chicken from the store. Cause yeah, eggs I could definitely handle, but just cooking chicken I really don't like. Even fish, well not all fish, just salmon. I can make salmon, but chicken I really just I have a problem with chicken. Like raw chicken, I just don't just don't want anywhere near me. It really freaks me out. It's a problem. Hey, Elishar, thank you for the sub. To take a screenshot in game. What are you, chicken? <laughs> I am chicken when it comes to chicken. Make sure we're still going the right way. Okay, nice, we are. Any pot that can stand oven heat works. It's basically just pasta and some meat and egg milk. For for casserole. Yeah, I think I have pans for the for the oven or something. Holy fuck, that's a badass looking goblin. There's another badass looking goblin. I forgot to repair my armor. No way I keep doing this. <laughs> Alright, after this fight, I have to repair my armor. I can't keep living like this. My fucked up armor. My armor is 100% broken right now, like fully. My chest plate armor. I'm still wearing it at least. shield up because they're, they're staggering me so much. <laughs> sure. Whoa. Oh my ah. god, and I'm healing non-stop. <gasps> Who the fuck? I have a hard time right now. I'm using my ult. I'm using my fucking ult. Stop fucking 
jumping on me. This one's almost dead. No. Dude, please. <laughs> My chat scrolled up, so I can't read any messages. <laughs> oh, I really wish I could fix the scrolling with the, the chat when I scroll through my potions and stuff. Oh. It should not be this hard right now. I know it's not hard, though. Know. But I, I bet my sword needs to be repaired too, because I'm doing like no damage also. Please don't kill me. I can't fucking move! Goblin should fight in the arena. He's kind of a badass, to be honest. Gotta fuck me up. fight of my life. Oh my, there we go. I could scroll the chat down. Sorry, I couldn't see anything anyone was saying. The whole time it felt so lonely because my chat scrolled down and I couldn't scroll it, scroll it back. <laughs> Mid-fight. Oh, scary. Those warlords are not fucking around. I'm repairing my armor now. I bet it's all at z Yeah. It's like almost all at zero. <laughs> we all left. We thought you hated us. So sorry about that. I'll never, never do that again. Oh my god. And my sword is at 12. No wonder this is fucked up right now. Oh, I can repair my sword. Oh, thank god. No! I'm out of hammers. Well, I have no more hammers, but most of my shit is repaired. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb so you're underleveled for this fight. No, it was, it was my armor. I forgot to repair my armor like three or four fights in a row. 
And every single fight, I kept saying, I think I need to repair my armor. And then I would immediately forget. But <laughs> I finally, finally got that shit repaired. Took suffering for 10 minutes straight. Are we getting close to the city? Oh yeah, we are. Wait, I, I see the city. Oh shit, we're really close. Yo, my first time in Chaden Hall. Almost. We're almost there. Almost my first time in Chaden Hall. As long as I don't get ambushed on the way. How's the repentance hurt been going? Oh, it's good. I, I got all my herbs, all 40 of them. It took took a long time, but we did some exploring while we were picking the flowers, so it, it it wasn't like boring or anything. I found some cool places while we were exploring. Um, back in the Mage's Guild. That's why we're going to Chaden Hall right now. I gotta get my Mage Guild recommendation here. A little little lodge. There's a door to this place. The heck? What? Where is the door? Crazy? Am I... Am I insane? Where's the front door? Oh. That looked like a wall to me. <laughs> that looked like a wall. That was a sensei. That was a Oblivion playthrough. It's really, really fun. This game goes hard. Oh. Is guy okay? I think you should leave. Sorry. I spent a full minute trying to find the door and I immediately get asked to leave. What a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, guys, the weirdo, not me. All right, let's check out Chaden Hall. How goes it? I'm not gonna make the mistake of talking to a guard this time. Oh, this is a rich city. I could tell. I could tell right now. It's a very pretty city. This looks like a little. I don't know how to describe. It looks like a little, little like mountain village or something. The like real life mountain village. It's pretty here. Stay at the inn. I gotta level up, so I gotta sleep in a bed. Welcome to Newland's Lodge, the best place to drink in Chaden Hall. Not counting the chapel. <laughs> I'm Duvera Romulo. Hi, Crossbow. Love your hair. Thank this you. This is a dark elf bar. Cursing, spitting, and screaming? No problem. <laughs> okay. Fighting is fine with me, too. Only the guard objects. And they'll fine you or lock you up. Not my call. Wow. It's I very... do have a bed available for... Walk just up the stairs there. Very little rules Farewell. in this inn. The vibe is good in this game, same for Skyrim. Yeah, I really like it. I played Skyrim just before this, and um... I feel like this game... The environment feels a little more peaceful than in Skyrim. I, th I think I mostly think that because the the color of everything is not super desaturated like it was in Skyrim. It's very vibrant in this game. How are you able to swap between spells fast? How can I help you to? Um. Oh, I'm just using my hotkeys. Like if you just hold one of your number keys, it brings up this menu. Needs like I'm holding one right now. So I got my health spell on number one. I just remember what I got bound. This guy seemed Gilbert. Is there something I can do for you? Gilbert and Jermaine. Good day to you. Where's the exit? Ah, it's raining. I was hoping it'd be nice and sunny so we could see the city for the first time. It's okay. Whoa. 
Dude, this city is super pretty. All right, I think this is my favorite city. I think this is my number one city. Holy shit, look at this bridge. This is amazing. Hi there. Dude, they got money in this town. They're using it right. They're investing in, in bridges, in, in roads, paths, planting trees everywhere. This place is great. It's a pretty popular favorite. I can see why. It's beautiful here. Let's check out the church. The Chapel of RK. Uh, you're a likely looking prospect. Thinking about the Fighters Guild? Not really. Bye. I am Gruyan Garana, Primate of Arke, and spiritual leader of the Shaden Hall Chapel. In that capacity, I am pleased to offer advanced training in speechcraft. All right. Be seeing you. Wait. I am Gruyan. In that her about the town. I closely supervise the priests and healers of Shaden Hall Chapel, so they might more closely approach the sacred ideals of our faith. Alright, that didn't really tell me anything Take about care. the city. But that's okay. This guy. How are you? Welcome, pilgrim. Oh, he knows. I came here because I love nature. Because I didn't want to serve as a boot wizard in a mountain legion in Skyrim. <laughs> All right. Farewell. I also like nature. That's why I like this town so much. This is a very nature-filled town. Look at all these flowers. Abandoned house. Kavach was pretty. I wish I got to see it. Oh, it's this fancy-looking building. Poor people out front. River view, it's locked though. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Okay, I'll Thank give you a let Letting of RK upon you. Seeing if they have a back door, they don't. Damn, I really want to go in here. Why is it locked? What time is it? Ten? I don't want to get in trouble. Who will help an old beggar? I don't want to get Bridges. in trouble. She's gonna buy Skuma with that coin. Hello. You can't assume that. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very cruel assumption. To make on her just because, just because she's poor. Dude, where is the mages guild in this place? Oh, house for sale. Holy fuck, I would love to live here so badly. How much money do I have? 3,000? I don't know how much a house costs. Good ass statue. Oh, that's a fighter's guild, I think. Looking for the mage's guild, still. Oh, let's go in here. <gasps> oh, my game crashed. <laughs> as soon as I walked through the door, my game crashed. All right. What's up, Jim? Hope your Saturday's going well. Thanks, I hope yours is too. Mine's going pretty good. I'm having a really good time in Oblivion today. Minus my game crashing just now. Why not use the local map? I like exploring. I like looking around, seeing what's, you know, what there is. You walked into the crash. Yeah, it was very instant. Something secret in that building that the game doesn't want me to see. All right, come on. If she doesn't want to look like a tourist, true. Want to, want to belong there. What's up, chat boy? You need that no game crashes mod? <laughs> I do. I actually do still need that. Oh. Ooh. 
I did not see that before. Iron root. Okay, well, really quickly, I gotta go refill my water. I'm trying to find a good view for you guys. I think this is a nice view. You can watch the guards walk around, do their rounds. I'll be right back. We'll get some water. back. Well, that guy is standing super ominously right there. What the fuck? How long has he been standing there? Oh, I'm out of breath. When do we get the dogs on stream? The prairie dogs? I don't know. They definitely don't like, um, you know, I, I have like a ring light for my webcam. They definitely don't like the bright light. <sighs> I ran up and down the stairs. I'm so out of shape. They're gonna attack you? Yeah, they're, they're gonna attack you. Because they don't like the light. Flying, this guy's floating. Flying in the sky. Cliff racer fly. <laughs> Who? 
was a beautiful yeah. sinker. What the heck? Are you? Time is it? <gasps> oh, he's uh, on drugs. Who? Why? <laughs> That's why he was standing so ominously. I want to hear him sing again. Give the man a septum at least. I would. I wish I could. It won't let me. <laughs> I also hacks. Hi, Jeff. I love the ambience of this. Or of the rain on top of the soundtrack. I listen to it a lot before bed. Yeah, this game is, the music's super peaceful. You think he's on drugs because he sings ignorant? <laughs> I like this guy. I think we need more. We need more singing strangers in the world. Well, I hope the guard doesn't do anything to him. How about mixing up some potions? You look like quite the alchemist. Chill. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. What an insane thing to say to someone unprovoked. I didn't even say anything to him. <laughs> He's a meanie. I'm full of food and drink smoked Kendrick? What do you mean, Hacks? I think Jimmy showed me the... This song J. Cole did, but nothing didn't say anything about Drake. Did I watch a Fallout show? No, I've never played Fallout, so um I know the like the story of the show is supposed to be like separate from the games, but uh I plan on playing the games actually pretty soon, so well, soon as in like in the next few months. So I don't want to watch the show before I play the games. I don't want like any spoilers of what the universe is like in the Fallout universe, if that makes sense. The March Rider sells and repairs weapons and armor. Can I help you? Are you gonna do the Fallout games in reverse order? No, I don't. I don't know what order I'm gonna play them in. I I was thinking of starting with New Vegas because I live in Vegas, so it just feels like the right one. May I interest start you with, in some of my know. fine wares? Oh, that's a cool weapon. 6,000. I could almost afford that. I'm halfway. That's a good deal. A fine transaction. That seems a fair price. Tell I'm pretty This handy. lady is talking well, really loud. Fun. She's like in my head right now. I have to turn my headset down. It's creeping me out. Farewell. The OG games are short if you want to do just the story. Oh, I definitely would want to do more than just, er, main story. I would definitely want to do more than just, like, main story stuff. I like getting immersed in the world when I play a game. I play games really slowly because of that. I get a little too immersed. But that's just how I like it. It's more fun. The little Books. bookshop. May I interest you in <laughs> all they say is books. <laughs> all he said is books. Books. I'm buying that one. I want to read that. You get lost in the sauce. I really do. I think you maybe play slowly because of your brain. Maybe. <laughs> maybe that's actually the whole reason, and I'm, uh, I'm masking yeah. it by saying I get yeah, immersed. Well. Okay, do I have anything I want to sell? Let's look. I guess random potions. Let me really quick, really quick, make some extra potions. Shock shield, that's cool. All right, Let's see if I can sell stuff. in Fallout 2. I think you'd like the most with Fallout 2's point and click. Oh, like you can't 
like you can't move around in it at all or is it point and click like runescape is point and click Horba Grauzgash. Oh shit, she's got, got big everything hair. the adventurer needs. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Hmm. I want to buy a health potion, but she doesn't sell any. It is point and click like RuneScape. Oh, that's not bad then. I was thinking point and click. Like at first, I was thinking point and click like those old um, like browser games that. You know, like you can't move around and then like you're just, I don't know, clicking on random objects. That's more than I would usually pay. I don't know if I should have sold that water breathing one, but it's too late now. Leave me alone. Okay. All right, where's the damn mage guild? Oh, we didn't even go up here yet. Oh, I think that's to the castle, though. Oh, let's take a look. Me Vegas is the best, but I agree. Starting with Fallout 3 sounds correct. Hmm. I really want to start with New Vegas, <laughs> just because I live in Vegas. That's my only reason, but I... I mean, that, that's a pretty... I feel like that's a pretty significant reason. Yeah, it's a city hall. You can gamble in New Vegas, so that's another plus. <laughs> It'd be pretty insane to make a game based in Vegas and not have gambling in it. Damn, RuneScape improved their graphics. Oh, they did. We're in Draenor right now. Got the Willow Trees. They expanded that shit, though. I actually don't think they have a Mage Guild here. I guess now that we check the whole area, we could check the local map. All right. Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I feel like I was not supposed to see that on the map. Oh, we missed a building. Wait, we fucking missed a building. I messed up. Um... New Vegas is awesome, so you're valid starting there. I just don't know if you'll appreciate the others as much. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't want to, like, fuck up my own experience, I guess. So, we're, we're quite a few months away from me playing Fallout for the first time. So, we've, we've got time to decide. Ah, the Mages Guild. Hey, what's up, Easter name? Well met. Have you noticed a change in the well water? Whoa. It tastes strange to me. I like this building. No doubt. Heard any news from the other Damn, they're poisoning the well water. Rumor has it the Nerevarine has left Morrowind on an expedition to Akavir and has not been heard from since. Well met. I need a recommendation. That's Falcar's responsibility. All right, Falcar. He takes it very seriously. What brings Bye. you here? Falcar. You smell of death. Been conjuring up dead things? Maybe. Oh, what the hell? Where's the where's Falcar? Um Must not have seen everyone. What is it, associate? I can't. Okay, can get down. Oh, there's more. Ah, oh, there he is, what staring is at a wall. Very normal Don't behavior. Don't tell me you're here for a recommendation. Oh, uh, 
Uh, well... <laughs> Don't waste my time if you're not ready for this. Are you prepared to do what is necessary to gain a recommendation from me? Not like how he's starting the sentence. Hmm. Yes. Very well. We shall see how prepared you actually are. There was a particular ring of burden I was testing some time ago. Another stupid associate somehow got his hands on it and managed to misplace it. If that I happens. didn't know better, I'd say he purposely tossed it down the well behind the guild hall. Why he would do such a thing is oh beyond God, that's me. that's what's fucking with the you water. You will retrieve this ring for me. Should you manage to do so, I shall consider sending a recommendation to the university. The what? well is locked, so you'll need the key. Dietzen should have a copy of it. Dietzen. Now get moving. Be seeing you. I want to take a look around first. Oh. This place is huge. This is like a, a mega mage guild. Oops. Key for that one. I feel like every Oblivion NPC is annoying. <laughs> A lot of them, though, they're very Smell mean. Them. I'm Island Wee. Some of I'm them are nice conjurer, and but wacky, but most of them have been very, like, rude. Quality goods for sale here. A lot of rude what can people. I interest you in? Okay, I need a healing potion. I'll buy three of them for all my money. Oh, soul gem. Come back and... Be seeing you. I can't seem to get immersed into oblivion. Good to see you. Have you noticed a change? How come? It tastes strange. Dietzen. I'm Dietzen, magician, mages guild magician. Uh, I need a key. We can talk so long as Falkar is out of earshot. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's trying to get you killed. He gave poor Vidkin the same task, and we never saw him again. I'm reasonably sure there's a connection, Dang, he wants but me I fucking can't dead. prove it. Do be careful. I'd hate to lose another useful associate. Here's the key, and something extra. I Aww. don't know if it will be of use to you, but from what I've heard of Falkar's ring, it may come in handy. Give me a little treat. And if you find out anything about what happened to Vidkun, let me know, will you? Of course, I will. Be no careful, doubt. They say that when you murder someone, the Dark um, Brotherhood comes. I can't to seem to get immersed into oblivion. It just feels dead. I don't know. New members. There's definitely. Well, uh, Heard any news from I feel the like other things are spaced out more than Skyrim, or maybe not not spaced out, but there's like less random camps and shit. Morrowind has. I hope I can help. What can I interest you in? Um, I don't know. Got potion she got. I accidentally sold my water breathing That's potion, good... so I'm gonna. Thank you. I went back. Be seeing you. Haven't really done anything underwater, but I guess we're going into a well. Hello. Or there's a lot of water, possibly. Um, I think it's this way. Uh, is my stuff all repaired? I think so. I guess we're going in here. Anything for my Mage Guild recommendation? Wait. Am I underwater right now? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Good thing I bought the potion. Uh... I don't even know where it is! Water breathing for 90 seconds. Hey, well, I got the ring. <gasps> I can't move! Uh, what? Oh, dude. The ring makes you heavy by 150. <laughs> yeah, no wonder he died! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> She gave me a spell to help. Where the fuck are my spells? 
Wait, water... No, it's a potion. Water breathing for 30 seconds. Okay. I still can't move, though. <laughs> that doesn't help me. <laughs> that doesn't help. Gonna ditch the clothes. That's why, yeah. Fuck, I really like my armor, though. I don't even think that's gonna be enough. I put the pants away. Put the shoes away. Well. Well, how do I get back? How? Oh, the, uh, the well. Oh, never mind. I thought I was just stuck there forever. Never mind, that wasn't so bad. That's a oh. fucked up little oh. task, though. Where's this fucking Falcar guy? I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oops. <gasps> that was weird. Probably ran away because he expected me to die or something. He's like actually gone. Alcar? I'm afraid some things have happened while you've been gone, Associate. It I may was gone for one and a half minutes. <laughs> I was gone for one and a half minutes. I'll admit it's my doing. I couldn't leave well enough alone. And after you'd left to go after that ring, well... I'm just so tired of the way we've all been treated by Falkar. She murdered him. I was him. worried about you and angry about Vidkun, so I confronted Falkar directly. He was furious when I told him I'd helped you. And then when I threatened to report him to the Council of Magus, I thought he was going to kill me. He flew into a rage. I didn't even understand some of his ranting, but he said that our days are numbered, and then he stormed out. What? I don't know if he ever wrote your recommendation. I'm sorry. I didn't expect this to happen. Well, this Perhaps really fucks things up for me personally. You should <laughs> check his room in the living quarters. If you see the note or anything else unusual, let me know. I'll gladly send it to the council. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. Is this unmodded? Yeah, I don't have any mods right now. I need, I still need to put the unofficial patch on. I have it downloaded, but not installed. Oh, just drop it anywhere. I don't think he really cared about it. I think it was some sort of sick joke on his part. Damn, that falcon guy is fucked up. It's such a shame. He didn't deserve to die like that. Good day. All right, let's check his living quarters. Um, I can't this one. What kind of creepy things that he have around. Oh my, I forgot I left my armor. Wait, I can't do this. I'm gonna get kicked out of the mage guild again. I don't want to fuck this up. I got kicked out once for stealing. I don't want to do it again. I'm actually scared. I feel like I'm supposed to though, but I don't want to fuck this up. I think that's what I'm supposed to do though. Everything just be better at not getting caught. Oh, a black soul gem. Wait. Oh. You let me take it? Two black soul. Oh, that shit is stolen. Dude, I like actually, I can't get kicked out again. I can't pick flowers for two hours again. 
I had no evidence of recommendation in Falcar's room, but I found black soul gems. I should take them to Dietzen immediately. Okay, I'm not going to take anything else. I think, I think under the circumstances, I will not get kicked out, hopefully. This is a wondrous encounter. Well What's this? Black soul gems? Crazy stuff. Oh dear, Creepy this is stuff. worse than I'd expected. All right, I'll just take these from you. I'll need them for my report to the council. Now, that sounds a good you person. didn't find any sort of recommendation? Very well. I shall write one myself and They're include really it in good my person. report to the council. In Probably the most the noble character of all time. I believe I'll find it more than adequate. Our hall doesn't offer much in the way of training. I can teach some basic alteration skills, but that's about it. It's all right. The guild here, that is. That's what you meant, right? It's fine. I'm doing fine. <laughs> the Anvil Guild has made quite a name for itself under Kara Hill. Did you hear about the recent murderer they caught? Oh, I helped with that one. Be she this. seems like a better leader than Falcar anyway. Yeah, I think I think Dietzen should be the archmage of everything. Not even just this this place, but just everywhere. Hey. Wait, I still have the ring. I need to get rid of it. Well met. I just put it. I'm just gonna drop it. It's not even worth anything. I don't have room to drop this object. Well, good luck to me for finding that again if I ever need it again for some reason. I need to get my stuff back. My stuff! What else is down here? Good luck to whoever has to pick it up, yeah. Ooh, Norton Root. Oh, that's it. There's nothing else here. I thought there was going to be more to, like, swim around in and explore, but it's just a tiny fucked up place. Well, I mean, I got my recommendation. I want to know what happened to that Falcar guy, though. Good to see. It's my pleasure. I heard what happened to him. I wonder if the Mage's Council will do anything. Farewell. Let's talk to Dietzen again. Where'd she go? Let's I'm talk to Trayvon, this guy. I didn't even talk to him guard. yet. Mage's Guild Evoker. Surprised? Yes, you don't see many Red Guards in the Mage's Guild. Why? We don't much like spellcasters in Hammerfell. Wizards steal souls and tamper with minds. If you use magic, you're weak or wicked. <laughs> my family didn't approve of my vocation, it's so I had judgmental. to come to Cyrodiil for my education. I admit, I still have strong prejudices against necromancy, summoning, and illusion. Profaning the remains or souls of the dead is just wrong, and I'm uneasy about tampering with others' minds and trafficking with Deidre. Those are some of my favorite things. <laughs> Oh, Daedra cults. Daedra cults aren't necessarily evil, of course. In nearby Morrowind, for example, they worship Daedra in the temple. The Azura Shrine north of town, up Lake Arius Way, for instance. I know a dark elf there. Nothing evil about him. Azura Shrine? We should go there. Say it's north. Be seeing you. Honored one. Good Where did Dietzen go? What's new with you? I hear the legions have been recalled from Fort Swamp Moth in Black Marsh. Why are they talking right now? The Argonian slaves have oh. returned to their tribes. I'm Dietzan, magician. Oh, we, we already met. You're writing me a recommendation. All right. Take care. Well, I guess my my work here is done. Wait, did someone just go through the door. Oh. Mage playthrough is going to be rough in Elder Scroll 6. What is or it? even better, because everyone's well going to be scared met. of you if they, I help you today, friend? they're scared of mages. Or scared of magic, I should say. 
Not sure why, but Chaden Hall Mage Guild feels like home. I love it there. That's how I feel about this whole town. You know what? I should go to the the king's building, the count building, and see if they'll let me buy a house here. I just want to see what the price is. I don't know how much a house costs. How much do I have? Oh, I forgot to put my armor on. Actually, let's keep it off. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they'll give me a better price. It'll be persuasive. Holy shit, it's well, fancy in here. This is like, it's like my dream house. Good God evening. damn. Hey, where's the, where's the king? Oh, it's 9 p.m. Okay, I'll wait here very patiently. 12 hours. There you go. Yes. Count Andel Indaris. I am Andel Indaris, Count Chadenhall. There is no more generous or just ruler in Cyrodiil, if I say so myself. <laughs> that Some house. words should be shared only by friends. What? I can't buy a house here? Goodbye. How do you do? Damn. You can't buy a house anywhere unless he, unless they trust you. Yes. I've ever done an untrustworthy thing in my life that I haven't done penance for. The absolute master of humility, the, the Count. He's a very humble guy. I like your hair. Thanks, Yokai. You gotta riz him up. True. I need to practice my riz skills. I haven't been... I haven't been... Using them at all. Let's repair my stuff. Oh, my stuff's not broken. You have to pick some flowers before you can buy a house. How goes? Uh, I guess that's that's just what my life is like. Okay, where are we right now? Hmm, so next up, I think we only have one city left. I think my last city for the recommendation is Leowin. I really want to go check out Azura Shrine though, but I think, I think I should get my Mage Guild recommendation if it's only one more town. Did you ever rescue Martin? Yeah, he's at the, he's at the Cloud Temple or whatever it's called, chillin'. Well, my game's lagged. Okay, so... Straight... South. We're going to Leowin. I haven't... Oops. Misclick. Pretty much from here all the way south. I've never been to any part of the map. Like, I've never been around here. Never been here. Never been here, didn't even know the map went all the way down here. What a strangely shaped map. I've never been down there, so it's gonna be a new adventure for me. I'm excited. I kind of want to make, like, sell some things. So I've ruined my inventory. I, I don't really have much to sell. Eh, it's okay. Just in case we find some cool shit along the way, but... That's okay. Gotta love Shaden Hall. All I get in Ulrich. Or all I get is Ulrich, who has a sort of charming and welcoming tone of him not knowing anyone and doesn't care to know anyone. Wait, what what town is that from? The guy that doesn't want to get to know anyone. Unless you're talking about a guy in the town. Someone did say that to me in Chaden Hall. Interesting. Hmm. How's up, Ty? How do you do? Okay, I guess this path doesn't go south anymore. 
Um, all right, we're gonna get back to the main path. We're going southwest. We'll stop by Vermina Shrine. It's on the way. I don't think... Have I been to any shrines yet? Like, official shrines? I don't know if I have. <gasps> Ow. Try to go the right way. There's something here. This is one like 10 minutes ago. Shrine? Like, I've been to like way shrines, but I don't know if I've been to like an official. Maybe they're the same thing. Maybe they're the same thing. I don't know. Oh, damn, look at these plants. Oh, Namira's true. I guess I, I actually don't want that. I already forgot about that since they didn't let me into their little secret club. Fucking excluding me. Nothing I'm not used to. I really quickly, I want to I get coffee really fast. I don't know if it's a safe spot to go AFK though. For a second. I'm sure it's okay, I'll get a little battle guard. One second. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go pour some coffee. I don't know why it's so sleepy. One sec. I'll be fast. Is this camera angle or angle I can't even talk? Got coffee. It's mostly milk, but a little bit, a little bit of caffeine. What's up, Grip? Is this the first Oblivion stream? No, I've I've been playing for I think a week now. I think this is my seventh or eighth day playing. I've been grinding. <sighs> I don't know why I feel so sleepy today. Good news though, if you wanted to catch up on the VODs, I got them on my VOD channel. Let me link it. They're nicely organized. Alright, where is the shrine? It says we're close. 
I don't know if I know too much about Vernima. That's a shrine we're going to, Vernima Shrine. I'm trying to think, like, if I met Vernima or, like, went to one of her shrines in Skyrim. <clears throat> but I'm not sure if I did. I don't think I did. I think I read a book, though, in Skyrim where... It was, like, one of the madness books, um, I think. And, I mean, it didn't really say much about Vernima, but I, I remember it mentioned her and Sheogorath. Um, but I don't know if I went to her shrine or anything. I just have a jug full of iced coffee in the fridge. Yup. Ooh. Wait, she's kind of pretty as fuck. Whoa, I see looks so fucking mad right now. That's an angry face if I've ever seen one. In the House of Shadow. What <sighs> business do you have with the Lord Vermina? Um, I don't Here know. Here we worship Vermina. Praying for her to grant us true visions. What is your business here? Um, I wish to speak with her. I'll, I'll say to that. To speak with Vermina, you must offer a black soul gem to the deity. No, Deidre. I just had one and it got taken away. Ah. The nine divines are boring. Deidre, they're never boring. That's true, I think. I do the whispering wall quest in Skyrim? I don't think Go so. Then. I have mastered my fears. There is no terror to compare with what Vermina has shown me in my dreams. Why do you want that? <laughs> Why does she want that? I have seen everything. After you've seen through Vermina's eyes, nothing can frighten you. Alright, I guess that makes sense, actually. Just scare yourself really hard, nothing else is scary, like, well, exposure therapy. Who are you? Okay, so I need a black soul here. gem. Damn, I fucking had one from the Mage's Guild quest, but I had to give it away to get my recommendation. I'll come back here sometime. I'll find a Black Soul Gem and I'll come back here. I would love to talk to Vernima. I don't know what I'd say to her, but... You know, just to say what's up, I guess. I guess that's what I'd say. I'd say what's up. See what's going on with her. Ask her to tell Shiogorath I said hi. I can't do... Oh, battle music. I haven't seen one of these inputs in a while. I can't do half the quests because no one trusts me enough to talk to me. Yeah, that's been a problem for me as well. I think you just have to keep... Uh, there's like a little icon... I was gonna go back and talk to one of them to show you, but it's too far. There's like, on the bottom left when you're in conversation with someone, it's like a little face. You click on that and you try and rhythm up, basically. Tell them some jokes. Well, if they like jokes. Tell them jokes if they like jokes. And rhythm up. You click the bribe button a couple times. Yeah, I guess if you got money like that, you could do it. I usually don't have enough money to do that. I found the cave with the castle deep inside. No! Don't, don't tell me more. <laughs> don't tell me more. I don't want any spoilers. That sounds cool, though. I mean, I found, like, ruins, but definitely not a cave with a castle. I hope the caves in this game lead to Black Black Reach or whatever it's called. I'd love to go back there. That's pretty much a cave with a castle. Oh. <sighs> What's happened to all the minotaurs and dripped out bandits? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they finally all chilled out and decided to let me live a peaceful life, finally. Ever realize where the Santa Orc came from in Skyrim? Um, yeah, one of the comments on my VOD channel 
kind of spoiled it, but it's okay because I I got the comment like way later, but it was from a quest. Um, they said he was like bugged out from from a quest. It's a cool little ruin. I can't explore this ruin right now. We gotta we gotta get my last and final mage guild recommendation. But we'll come back here. I like the little A lead ruins. I like exploring them. But I really want my mage guild recommendation. This has been it's been several days in the making. One more town, one more recommendation. I'm trying to get back to the main road right now. I can't find it. I was gonna say, this is kind of like a road, but no. <laughs> We're gonna lay wind, yup. It's my first time in this whole southern part Oh, I'm not even close at all. <laughs> well, it is, it's my first time in this whole southern part. Ooh, a chest. Oh, I don't want that plate. Southern part of Cyrodiil. So I'm excited to see um, what the biome change will be like, if the biome changes quite a bit. Anyway, you met for Nima in Skyrim, she's mean? Hmm, I really, I don't remember her. Maybe, maybe it was closer to the start of my playthrough. Oh, here's the main road. Cause you know, near the start of my playthrough, I didn't know anything about the lore um, or like Daedra gods or, or anything. So I probably would have been confused. I think this is the right way. Have I done any Dark Brotherhood? I did Dark Brotherhood in Skyrim. Not in this game. I probably will do it in this game though. I like the, the Dark Brotherhood quests in Skyrim. I feel like I, I read a lot of books about them in Skyrim, so I know a lot of lore. So it just makes sense to... What's up with this place? It makes sense to keep exploring the lore like further. This place is like almost a, a little town. This place could have been a little town. Um, I'm on episode seven in your Skyrim playthrough. I recognize that orc from the first time he greeted you at that quest. he would be from. I just think he was from the Dawnguard quest. Like, the, the quest called Dawnguard, like the vampire stuff. Well, actually, you know what? It was when I finished the entire vampire quest line that he did disappear, but there's, I feel like there's no reason for him to disappear. Like, it didn't make sense. He followed me into the Forgotten Vale and then I never saw him again. Off the road, you fought one rat and one impling. Now on the road, you have a bear, a <laughs> spreaking, and a troll. Yeah, the the road seemed a lot more dangerous, which is funny because at the very start of the game, one of the guards in the Imperial City said something like, "Stay on the roads. So it's dangerous out there." Or something. But what if, you know, what if he was misdirecting me on purpose? What if he wanted me to stay on the road so I could die? It is pretty chill when we're off roading. Need to make sure it's still going the right way. Southeast. <laughs> he might just be stupid. There's always that. I guess that's true. You can't assume malice on it for everything. Oh! 
Oh, see, we're off the road, and it's just one little rat. I think you're right. I think off-roading is the way. I was trying to go underwater, but it's not letting me. Fort Cedrian. Turn root. Uh, kill a crab. The, the amount of times you've been arrested, I think it's okay to assume a bit of malice. Honestly, true. Yeah, the guards are out to get me. They're, they're trying to ruin my life. Oh, bandits. up still. <laughs> Where's her body? I'll take her shoes. Did you ever discover camping in Skyrim? Mm -mm. Like building like a camp or something? No. Damn, it's getting dark out here. It's getting scary. I'm also going the wrong way. I'm supposed to go south. Um. Fuck it. I'll pray at this little runestone thing. Shadowstone. You choose to steer by the stars of the shadow. Sure. They've gained fingernail moon greater power. Chameleon 15% for 120 seconds. Hmm. I don't really like that one. Survival mode doesn't tell you, but in the smith you can craft camping gear. It does tell you if you don't skip it. Does it? I don't remember that even ever, like, popping up at all. That probably would have helped me quite a bit. The only tutorial I remember skipping for sure is the lock picking one, but I mean, I figured it out eventually. That's right, uh, ah. I tried, I want to wait until it's morning, but there's enemies nearby. Now oh, I could do it. Let's wait, let's wait till morning. I like traveling in the daytime with the light. It's just too- it's too dark at night. Can't fucking see. Morning is easier. It's better for traveling. Alright, south. It's a really long journey to Leowin. Leowin's like super tucked away compared to everything else. looks like a little path. This is not where I'm supposed to go, but... Oh, it's going up here, like a ruin or something. Hey, what's up, Scotty? How's it going? I recently just started a survival playthrough. I didn't know either about camping. Yeah, I really don't remember that popping up in, like, a tutorial thing. Is there no survival mode in Oblivion? Um, no, not, like, an official one. In Skyrim, it just came with the Anniversary Edition. I didn't have a mod for it. I assume for in this game, like, you could probably get a mod for it. I would say almost definitely. I feel like there's always mods for everything. Yeah, I was kind of bummed out there was no survival mode in this, but, um... It's actually kind of okay, because 
Oh, this is a long path. I'm getting distracted. We gotta make our way to Leowin. I think it's actually okay because the difficulty in this game is... Like, this game feels a little bit harder than Skyrim. So I think survival mode would have really <laughs> made it a little fucked up. I like this little lake right here. You don't play RuneScape anymore? I don't stream it that much. I do still stream it occasionally. Uh, obviously a lot less than I used to. But I do still play a little bit here and there. Just not as much as before. I finally... I've decided to go on a journey and play a lot of the games I missed in like the past 20 years or something. Basically most of my life. All the games I missed when I was horribly addicted to RuneScape and Counter-Strike and COD and stuff. I missed out on a lot of cool shit. Damn, I really want to explore all around here. We'll have to explore that after I get my Mage Guild recommendation. Can't wait for the- <laughs> Can't wait for the eventual Witcher 3 playthrough. I'm not opposed to playing the Witcher games, like trying them. I mean, I I definitely have heard good things. I'm not opposed to it. Damn, I can't walk this way. I gotta go around. Witcher 1 and 2 are kind of rough. Are they like really, really old? Old and janky. You know, some people describe this game as old and janky. <laughs> and I'm having a great time. Witcher 3 is one of the greatest games of all time. I've definitely heard people say that. I'm not opposed to trying it. It's definitely not something that is on my list right now for games I plan on playing, but... I see a person. I'm not opposed to it. If people say it's really good, I would definitely try it. Who the heck is this guy? A girl, a conjurer. The random one? She's conjuring weapons. That's kind of cool as fuck. To be honest. Not really put up that much of a fight. <laughs> it was like a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like summoning spells so much, because I like Pokemon. This game is cute and funny, janky. Witcher 2 is annoying, janky. I guess that makes sense. That is quite a... But a notable difference. Alright, moving south. Did I play Baldur's Gate 3? No. I do plan on playing it. I don't know if it's a game I'd play on stream. I'm I'm not opposed to playing it on stream. But I like I said, I wasn't planning it either. But not opposed to it. I played Divinity Original Sin, which is by the same devs, and it's kind of like same gameplay style. And I love Divinity. It's a really great game. So I know for a fact I will like Baldur's Gate. Just don't know when I'll play it. Hey, a nice little inn. Let's check it out. Well met. It's said that eating tap root can bring you good Ten luck. Ten years of research so down heard. the drain. What's the news from the other... I don't suppose I could convince you to help me recover my research notes. This guy's eyes are off-putting to me, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because he has, like, no eyebrows. I was doing some research in Bramble Point Cave, and suddenly I was attacked. I grabbed everything I could and ran, but I feared I dropped my notes. <laughs> That's, like, the most important Those thing to grab. Those are very important to me, and represent ten years of my life. If you could recover them, I'd be sure to reward you appropriately. 
Well, if you research. must know, I've been studying the Welkin stones. Yes, the oh. aquamarine colored crystals usually native to I think I will help him get his notes. It seems I'm the first to discover them growing in a natural cave. That's about all I can say about it. Well, all they manner of creatures infest Bramble Point Cave. You must remain I'll help him with that. Not right now, though. We'll come back and help him. I really have to get to Leowin. I can't let even something as interesting as research distract me. I'll remember this place. Imperial Bridge Inn. Holy fuck, we're still so far away. What the fuck is this thing? Oh my god. Dude, the water levels are dropping. The slaughterfish are being kicked out of the river. This fucking climate change ruining everything. I come across her maze more on the way to the city at this rate. That's like the that's the only thing I think that would distract me from my mission. If Hermes Mora shows up, I'm dropping everything. Even the most important, most interesting storyline of all time, I would drop in a heartbeat if Hermes Mora asked me to. I love him so much. I'm kind of bummed out. Not a lot of people in game have mentioned him. I think there was mention of him at some point so far, but like so briefly that it wasn't really significant and it, it also could have just been in a book might not have even been an npc saying anything um you can also check out mass effect and dragon age oh dragon age is one of the few single player games i played when i was a kid i loved dragon age origins that was one of my favorite games when i was a kid other than like my typical call of duty and stuff Mass Effect, I've never played, and I haven't seen too many people talk about it. But I know that they used to make a lot of... A lot of porn from the blue ladies in Mass Effect. That's like the only thing I know about that game. That's the only point of reference I have whatsoever for Mass Effect. I'm only thing to judge it on. Impressed by, I'm impressed they made a unique animation for on land fish. Oh, yeah, I guess it was flopping around. I didn't even catch that. Mass Effect story is amazing. What uh, what company is it by? Like what developers? I mean. Same as Dragon Age Origins Bioware. Oh. Maybe I do have to check it out one day. I should just make like a giant list of games to play on stream at some point. I think I've, I've come to realize that when it comes to like games on stream, oh fuck, alien guy. I really like, like, I like story-heavy games, but not when the story is, like, given to you by non-stop, like, dialogue, like, characters talking to you. Because I talk a lot when I'm streaming. Wow, I'm getting beat up. I talk a lot when I'm streaming. So if I'm playing, like, a game where you have to, like, listen really closely to NPCs talking all the time, that actually... I think those are the single-player games I don't like playing on stream. I feel like Skyrim and Oblivion have been perfect because it's pretty, pretty limited to the NPC interactions. Like there's some. I like I do like the NPC interactions. Oh my fucking god, there's another one of them. But I don't like when it's like you're bombarded with it and you don't even have a chance to talk. Mass Effect requires you to listen a lot to be fair, choices matter. I like choices matter games. I just don't like when it's non-stop talking, like, he's, like, listening. I like reading. I like reading the books in-game. Didn't have a 
chance to put my shield out. thing about a lot of RPGs, you can just read and skip line by line. Somehow it never ruins their immersion. Yeah, same for me. That's what I like too. More one's gonna be even better if you have the energy to read everything. I was kind of thinking about for when we play Morrowind, since everyone said it has no voice acting, I was thinking of maybe getting a mod for it. Not for everything, but just for like the NPCs. Um... And obviously, I'd still read, like, all the books and everything myself. Sorry, we don't have time to explore those ruins right now. We really gotta get to Leowin. Let's cut through here. Crab people, by the way. Oh, I think those are aliens. I think that's the alien from Aliens and Predator, or whatever that movie's called. Aliens vs. Predator. That's what it's called. You just, you just gotta read everything in a funny voice. I am not good at that. I'm unfortunately not a different voices kind of reader. Why the music just stop suddenly? It's freaking me out. Oh, it's battle music. Very quiet battle music. you ever use the AI voice acting mod for a while? No, I wasn't really... I wasn't into, like, the quest storylines in WoW. I, that was more of a just, like, grinding and exploring kind of experience for me. Instead of, like, a lore-heavy one. Yeah, I see a lot of, like, bandits around. There's a bandit on the road right there just waiting to kill someone. Let's go say hi to him. I need to make sure... That Make sure the streets are safe. This is oh, wait. a hold up. Oh. And it also <laughs> I thought they were nice for a second. Oh, how wrong was I? Easily. Oh fucking kill him. This end is Glass armor should not. It's like based on the name. I feel like it shouldn't be very good. I feel like it should break really fast. But it looks really cool. Nickelodeon slime armor. Let's get this over with. Whoa. What does it remind me of? It just looks like some kind of like a gem. It's very gem-like. Or gummy bears. <laughs> it kind of does look like a gummy bear. Oh, now it's making me think of like sour candy. Which I really like. I haven't had it in a long time. Let's repair my stuff. Okay, where are we? Alright, we're almost there to Leowin. I do kind of want to see what the heck is up with this random boat. Not to get too distracted, but just like a little sneak peek. Oblivion or Skyrim, open world is exploring is better. Um, I think... I felt like Skyrim just had more things to explore, like more points of interest and stuff. Um, but the exploring still feels really good in Oblivion. Obviously Skyrim is like newer, like came out after 
So it makes sense that it would be improved upon a little bit. I mean, like, even just, like, walking... Oh, I see Alien over there. Even just, like, walking around in-game, the movement definitely feels better in this game. I think, at least. Is this a door? No. Well, yes, but it's broken. That's not a door either. I guess you can't get in the ship. I thought you'd be able to. That's okay. Back, back to the task at hand. Let's get to Leia win, finally. <laughs> I love exploring Drummer Ruins in Skyrim. Yeah, I like those too. I think Black Reach is one of the coolest things ever to stumble upon. It's just such like an unexpected thing. Hey, look at the trees here. The trees have changed. It's different. We're in a different biome entirely. Well, maybe not entirely, but kind of. I'm pretty sure these are different kinds of trees from north on the map. I like a nice little biome change. New flowers. New flowers. It's not rude for me to take these <laughs> at the <laughs> right at the stone. Oh shit, we got these alien guys on the roads now? my summon really quick. Oh. Ugh, why is it still making sound after it's dead? Oblivion's world was designed like Morrowind with fast travel. Skyrim is more about random non-quest related locations and references. Hmm. I didn't play Morrowind, so I can't speak to that part. But yeah, Skyrim, it definitely felt like there was a ton of random things to just stumble upon all the time. I mean, there is here too. Like, look at that random ass cave. But, I don't know. I, I feel like they're just a little bit more Skyrim. Let's keep moving south. You can fast travel to the major cities immediately. Yeah, I actually don't like that. I, I like it better when you have to unlock being able to fast travel somewhere. I mean, of course you could choose to do that on your own, like, which is what I'm doing. Like, I'm not gonna fast travel to Leowin because I've never been there before, so I wanna walk there for the first time. But I like it when it's built into the game. Then it, I don't know, it just encourages a little bit more exploring. Oh, it's a cool tree. of hours in Skyrim but still come across things that are new to me. Yeah, that's one of the best feelings. I love when when I like think I know a game like I think I know everything know the whole map and just randomly discover something new. Till morning. I just started a heavy modded Skyrim playthrough. Are you doing one of those like mod packs where it's all 
kind of chosen for you. I want to try one of those. I want to try the Norvis one specifically. Although, I, I really don't know if my computer could handle it. But it's worth it to try, I guess. Would definitely be something I couldn't stream. My computer would for sure not handle streaming it. But I would maybe be able to run it. Norvis is like a giant mod pack with, um, I think it's 4,000 mods. It's a pretty insane amount. I feel so short right now in game. I'm like, I'm having trouble seeing over the grass. Very, very swampy place right now. Just like IRL. Yep, it's reminding me too much of real life. I don't like it. Need to be tall in my fantasy games. I want this plant. What is this plant? Right, south. We're we're really close to the town. I gotta go southwest. Yeah, escapism ruined. Every time I go to a new city today in game, it's raining when I when I get there. What's up with that? Okay, we're almost there. little ruins. We found Veyond. Yeah, this is a really large ruin, it looks like. Gotta come back for it. There's a little, little mini town. I'm just gonna stop by here to see what this place is called. next PC is super beefy. Skyrim VR with some mods is amazing. Oh, I want to try Skyrim VR really badly. I don't know when I'm gonna <laughs> uh, upgrade my computer, though. My computer's fine. It's just nothing crazy. Greetings. What's up with this, this person? Yes. Colovia is a land of rugged wastes and highland forests. <laughs> okay. Take care. What kind of a rumor is that? Greetings to you. What can I do yeah, for you? His name is Floyd. That's such a normal name. The Imperial City is densely urbanized, with a few large parks and waterside dock areas. Can you get a companion in Oblivion? Farewell. I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it. I know for sure you can't get married in this game. Hi, cobbler. Oh. All right, almost that way, Owen. Can't even see the city from here. It's so rainy. What's up with this guy? Oh, oh he's stuck! Oh no! <laughs> this is very unfortunate for the both of them. Sorry, no time to talk. I have to deliver these copies of the Black Horse Courier. Here, take a copy. It's free. Okay. They sound like they're really in a hurry. I wish them good luck. There. Yes, 
Even though it's raining, so it's kind of hard to see, this place does look really pretty. Look how peaceful this place is. Got deer running around, even on the roads. Don't give a damn. This place is great. Oh fuck, there's an alien guy. I'll go around. There's the city. Gotta find where the entrance is. Oh, Nern Root. I still have a quest to get like 20 of these, so I just when I see them, grab them. Protect the land from a mud crab. Alright, made it to Leowin. And there's a horse here already. Greetings. looks very not like a town it looks like a like a fort right now city watch barracks don't get arrested yeah i need to be careful oh wow look at the buildings got an orange building yellow green oh that's cool what a colorful place those buildings look kind of fucked up we'll just ignore those ones we'll look at these ones I feel like I'm in, like, Europe or something. This place is awesome. I haven't been to Europe very much in my life, but when I was a little kid, I'm- my parents are immigrants from Poland, so I, I've been to Poland, like, twice in my life when I was a kid. And I remember, like, Poland- Poland. literally this building right here is what I remember Poland looking like. Like, the buildings were very- at least where I was, like, they they had a lot of really vibrant colored buildings also, this was a long time ago. It's like Good 15 you. years ago. More than that, actually. <laughs> ah, no, it's probably about 15 years ago. She's a smart one. You could learn a lot from her. <clears throat> which city? I honestly don't remember which cities I went to in Poland. Like actual cities. Like I know the name of the town my family's from. I don't want to say that just because I don't know. It's like a small town. So, eh. to know just, about you know, my family still lives there in Poland, so I just don't want to say. But I, I did go to, like, some actual cities in Poland, but I don't remember their names. I'll have to ask my parents. But yeah, this really reminds me of Poland. I really like this town. The artists of Bethesda games are often heavily inspired by real places. Really? I'd love to know what inspired this this city. Oh, that makes me wonder if they have art books. I love art books from video games. I have the Dark Souls 1 art book and I have the Elden Ring art book. The Elden Ring art book sucks, unfortunately. Don't buy it. Um, the Dark Souls 1 art book is amazing, though. I'd love to get an art book for these games. Ah, oh, this town is so pretty. I might like this town more than Chaden Hall. I have the Dark Souls 2 one, I love it. Ooh, I want to get that one. Hey, there's, I think, yeah, the Mage's Guild. I have Scorn and Cuphead art books. I think I saw the Scorn art book when I was in a, in a store. That's like a really gory game, right? Very bloody. What? It's got that awesome eyebrows. I get a recommendation. Oh boy, good luck getting that. Why? The Gale's the only one who can write one, if she can remember who she is today. That is. Oh, that's not a good. You too. <laughs> that's not a good start. You seek wisdom from me, child. Holy shit! Oh, she looks like no, the fairy godmother. You seek words. Words are difficult. They come and go. The voices, though, so loud they are, they drown out the words. <laughs> um. Without my amulet, my stone to lock the voices away, the words will never come and stay. 
Oh man, I Would think she needs medication, not an amulet. To help me find the words? I guess I'll help. Then seek Agatha, child. She will see the path and set you on it. I must rest. Oh man, she's struggling. Um. All right, I guess. Tell she me may more. Be young, but her heart is old and wise. It guides her well through these troubled times. Okay. Um. Within its walls live those who determine the fate of the guild. It is our stronghold, our sanctuary. You will come to know it well in time. I have seen it. She's talking kind of normal now. Let me see your hand. I see the city in the hand, and the hand in the stars. Well, never mind, actually. The power guards <laughs> the gate, but the gate holds the key. The king is the key, and the hand guards the king. <laughs> She's so crazy. <laughs> The guild needs you, child. Perhaps it has always needed you. Always been waiting for you. I can't believe this is who has to write my mage guild recommendation. Necromancy may be legal in Cyrodiil, but few will openly admit to practicing it now that the mages guild has banned it. That was a very Farewell, coherent child. thought. Okay. Greetings, oh, let's talk to everyone Nice else. to meet you. She's one of the few people that smiles at you, though. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people got grumpy fucking faces. Oh, dangerous shrines. You mean the shrine to Nocturnal? That's north of Leowin, east of the Lower Nibbon. Hmm. You never know when you might need a good, strong potion. Best to. St Hell yeah, healing potion. A pleasure to serve you. Agatha is the first person I go to when I need something. Maybe I should talk to Dagale instead. I need to find someone named Agatha. Did you all hear your travels how upset Trava is about all the dogs that you are? Yes? Is there something I can help you with, Associate? Um, need my recommendation. I take it you've spoken to Dagale. Then you know she is not well. She has visions, for lack of a better term. While they used to be helpful at times, they have lately become problematic. I am. There was She's an amulet, old. a family heirloom that she wore to suppress and sometimes focus the visions. She's lost the amulet, and so has lost control. I guess I gotta find it. <laughs> at times, they served her well. She gained something of a reputation in the guild and was highly valued by the council. As she aged, the visions became less coherent. Rather than cast her aside, the council gave her a position here. Some resent her and wish she'd disappear. That's so I sad. I do not. I am proud to help her with her daily tasks. Aw, that's a really nice lady. She's not really given me a lot to work with, though, to find her amulet i'm surprised she discussed it with you she wanted to keep it from the others i should seer speak to stone. her about that yes her seer stone is missing it's the one thing that has kept her visions at bay and without it they're nearly crippling we haven't yet spoken to the others for fear they would be less than accepting of her situation i will continue to tend to degale can you speak with the other mages and find out if any of them have seen the stone? Hey, seven sins. Thanks for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, have a look around. You How won't we find better find... prices in all Tamriel. Gotta find that seer Farewell. stone. Let's talk to everyone, Strasa, I guess. Strasa, the mages' guild, evoker and alchemist. But perhaps you are an adventurer? Could you assist me in acquiring something for my crystal collection? 
Everyone just needs something from Straight me in this to place. The point, eh? Good, I like that. I'm searching for some specific crystals known as Garadan's Tears. Okay. Wonderful. I want you to bring me as many of Garadan's Tears as you can find. This oh, is a fuck. personal error, you must understand. Just between you and I. The Mage's Guild has nothing to do with it. Is that allowed? <laughs> I don't want to get kicked out again. <laughs> this sounds totally legit. He's totally not setting me up. I don't know. I trust him. He's got trustworthy eyes, I think. You're welcome. Love the game and run skip content. Tell Jimmy I said hi. I'll let him know. I'll pass on the message. And good night, chimp. All right, Seer Stone. I'm afraid I don't know anything about it. Kalthar was talking about it recently. All right, let's find Kalthar. I assure you, the gold is well worth the risk. What is it? Oh, Go eyebrow ahead, guy. please. Dude, he's got like insanely bushy eyebrows, but then like. I don't know what it is, but he has a baby face. I don't know what it is about his features that is so babyish, but something about, like, especially the bottom half of his face. He has, like, the upper half of his face is that of a grown man, but then the bottom is a baby. I don't know why. Chubby cheeks into the mouth re region. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it does have these lines here. Maybe that's it. He has a punchable face? Damn. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that personally. I like his eyebrows. Our well, stone. well. Word is finally spreading, is it? They won't be able to keep up this facade much longer. <laughs> yeah, I know all about it. I overheard Agata and Dagale talking. And you know what? I'm glad it's gone. It's kind of rude. Why should we be forced to work under someone who's only kept sane by a magical trinket? Haven't we sacrificed enough already? She <laughs> shouldn't even be here anymore. Hell, the only reason her father ever fit in anywhere is because he kept a low profile. And look what it got him. This Years of service to the guy. Empire, and not even a tombstone over his head. Huh. <laughs> At least he was able to maintain the illusion of sanity. I don't fucking like this guy. I know. I get way too fired up over this. It just annoys me that she's in charge of the guild when she's clearly not fit. That's all. He basically is upset that she's crazy and has like uncontrollable visions unless she has her stone. But I mean, if she has the stone, she's fine. So what's wrong with that? Yeah, his face is looking more punchable by the second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, haven't I said enough already? Just let it go. Once someone finally realizes what's going on here, maybe things will change. Hmm, kind of seems like he got rid of that stone himself. You'll see. Things will change. You're fucking suspicious, buddy. I'm on to you. I don't know what to do about it, but I'm on to him. Son is in charge of Chadenhall now. Absolutely. They say when you murder... Yes? Is there something I can help you with, Associate? Um... So Kalthar overheard us, did he? That explains why he's been so cranky lately. <laughs> yeah, he is cranky. But we never said anything about DeGale's father. How would he know anything about that? Suspicious. If there's some sort of connection between the Seer Stone and DeGale's father, I don't know about it. Maybe if you ask her, it will jog her memory. In the meantime, what is you it, too. Associate? Is she so chill? She's just here reading her book, and this guy's all what fired it, up associate? about it. It reminds me of Denethor. Hmm, I don't remember Denethor. You seek more from me, child? It is as I have seen. I know what you would ask. You would bring light to that which is in darkness, bring silence to the voices so loud. I know where you must go. So many riddles. Blood brand blue and dragons flew high. Under broken towers and broken bodies it now lies. <laughs> to be found. This might be a little too cryptic What was for my me. sire's must be mine if you would have the words you seek. 
You must go and find his stone. Where are you going, crazy? Nothing has changed, child. Okay. Farewell, child. What is it, Asoshi? Where did it got to go? I lost her. What How is did it, Associate? she go? Yes, is it? She's led such a troubled life. <laughs> I'm on so his side on this one. On She's her. a little crazy, but she just needs her amulet. At times, you. Okay, let's see what this quest is. Oh, I'm on the wrong quest entirely. I need to find the fort at which the Gale's father was stationed. It should be somewhere Two. near Leowin. Hello, associate. Yes? Um... I've heard she was put in charge of the Leowin Guild Hall as a favor. Take care. Well, I guess no one else is gonna give me any clues. Never mind, the map tells me exactly where to go. Okay. Oh, my game is like kind of lagging now. Have pity, beautiful lady. I got nothing to eat. Well, I am not call me beautiful, okay? I'll Thank you, you buddy. kind lady. Blessings of Mistara upon you. We didn't even get to explore the city yet. I went right hey. to the Mage Guild. Let's check out the church. Let's see whose church it is. Oh, Church of Zenithar. I love the design of the city. Me too. It reminds me of Europe. I like it a lot. Solana Blandia, healer of the Leowin Chapel. May you find Leowin healing here for your wounds and for your troubled spirit. There's a peace here in the chapel for all who seek it. Nice. Take care. What I do to the Mage Guild? I accidentally stole from it. Well, I stole. I, I didn't even steal, really. I accidentally pickpocketed one of the members and they kicked me out, but they let me Good back afternoon. in. I'm Avras Aris. I'm the priest of Zenithar at the. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Yep, yeah, I was a thief, but I. I paid my dues. Bye. The Mage Guild is notorious for second chances. I'm so happy they gave me a second chance. I was actually scared that I'd be just kicked out forever. Like, that'd be it. But, all is well. I had to collect 40 little flowers. They were actually very hard to find. But I did it. I, gave, I handed in my little flowers, and I'm back in. This is my last city for my ma my last Mage Guild recommendation. How do you do? Sorry. This guy. Counts Mage and Castle Healer, your servant. My servant. I have been happy enough in the Count's service, but I am not so happy about his lovely wife and her Nibbanean advisor. Lady Alicia is uncomfortable with Khajiit ways, and Argonian ways, and Dunmer ways. She is only comfortable with pure white bread Nibbaneans. That's fucking weird. <laughs> hey, you're the one they call the Hero of Kavach, aren't you? The one that closed the Oblivion Gate and saved the city? That's me. Now that you've been to all the cities, favorite city and least favorite? Honestly, this might be my favorite. This one and uh, Chaden Hall. I really like both of them. I also really like Anvil and Skingrad, but I think that I think this one might be my favorite. Or Chaden Hall. I can't choose between those. Least favorite? Definitely Bruma. I don't like Bruma, and I had a really bad first impression because I got arrested when I first went there. Like, for the first time ever. Terrible first impression. But I really like it here in, in Shaden Hall. Bruma also was kinda... 
I don't want to say boring, but, um, like, the design of the city is boring. It's very, like, empty, lackluster. The city's fucking awesome. Anvil's another favorite. Yeah, I like Anvil. It reminded me of Solitude. Good to see you. Oh, hello. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I mean, holy crap. Sorry. Forgot Pi doesn't swear very much. <laughs> hello, welcome everybody. Welcome my fellow Pi heads. <laughs> holy moly, yeah. <laughs> That's a better word. Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid, Pi. I'm a big, big Pi head, big Pi fan. <laughs> I hope you had a really good stream. I was watching some of your, um... I don't remember what you called it, like the Super Kaizo Ironmon stuff. Well, that is jacked. Mercy, just one. Looks very difficult. There was a lot of lab. Yeah, that's a... It's part of the Kaizo experience. Especially the harder version. I don't even think I'm built to try the harder version. But yeah, welcome everybody. I'm playing Oblivion for the first time. I missed out on this game when I was a kid. I missed out on all the Elder Scroll games my whole life. So I'm, I'm visiting them now for the first time. And I really like this game. I'm in this elf. Well, actually, I don't know if it's an elf city. I kind of just assumed because of the name. I'm in Leowin for the first time exploring and I really like it here. What class are you playing? It's called freestyle. <laughs> uh, I'm using a mix of melee and magic. I kind of just use every combat style when I want to. I know that's not the best way to do it, but I just can't make a decision. I can't decide on just magic or just melee, so I just use everything. I'm using blades and just random spells. A lot of conjuration. Why decide? Truth, you don't have to. Literally, like, if I don't have to, I will never make a decision. I will continue cycling between every combat style, except for range. I don't use range very much, because I just don't want to carry around a bunch of arrows. Oblivion is super janky, but a fun time. Other- the game crashes for me sometimes, like, once every couple hours, I quick I try and quick save like every five minutes. But other than it crashing occasionally, I honestly haven't experienced too much jankiness. I feel like I've had pretty minimal glitches. Um, I've got like 30 hours played so far and it's been running pretty well. I don't even have any mods or anything. Um, like there's like patches you could download and install to make it run a little bit better. I didn't do that yet. And my game's been running pretty good. Hey, guy. Yes, I'm John. Melee in this game just comes down to spam click in a direction. Yeah. I mean, you can use a shield too. Right now, I'm doing the Mage Guild quest line. I'm trying to trying to earn my spot in the mage guild. This is actually my last city. My last mage guild recommendation. What shield is that? Um, Dwarven shield. It's a nice regular shield. Gets the job done. I think Morrowind is easily the most jank of all the Elder Scroll games. Oh, I haven't gotten to play Morrowind yet. I'm going in a backwards order. I played Skyrim for the first time last month, so now I'm playing this. And I plan on playing Morrowind very soon after Oblivion. I hope that Morrowind will be like... I don't mind like a little bit of jank jankiness, but I hope it won't be anything game-breaking. Basically, I just hope that it runs well and is playable. Hey, what's up, Joe? Do any guild stuff or just main quest? I'm doing Mage's Guild right now. I haven't been doing much of the main quest just yet. 
I rescued Martin from Kavach and I kind of just left him at Cloud Ruler Temple and I'm out here forging my own path, doing my own adventures. Right now, I'm looking for an amulet for the Mage Guild lady, the leader of the Mage Guild here in Leowin. How am I supposed to get up there? And if I get her amulet, she'll let me in. Never played Oblivion. If this is unmodded, it looks pretty good considering its, its age. Yeah, I think this game is beautiful. It looks really, really good. The graphics of this remind me of like classic WoW. And I, I really like this kind of... Like, older, but... Oh, I've arrived at Fort Blue Blood. DeGale's father should be buried inside. Oh, I didn't realize we we're gonna be robbing a grave. Um, I like the older stylized looking graphics a lot. They stick to a little bit of a theme. wearing the same armor as me. Oh, I have to take it. Ebony, 11 armor. What's mine at? Oh, it is the exact same. I guess I won't take it. My favorite is three people did all the voices in this game. They have limited range. A lot sound the same. I ha I definitely have noticed that the voices aren't too varied. I it doesn't bother me too much though. I feel like the the main NPCs sound different enough to me. Have I played Season of Discovery on WoW? I played a little bit of it, but I didn't get really into it. I like classic WoW a lot, but I played a lot of hardcore classic WoW. I think hardcore was just my favorite that once it once it wasn't hardcore anymore and it was just regular no penalties death. on death regular <laughs> wow i wasn't having as much fun with it oh my god they killed my, my summon really quickly <laughs> it's so dark i can't even see Different, different times. So I can't block their their swings. I use some magic, I think. I got an off take them exactly. <laughs> Ow, oh my god. She's going crazy on me. Why won't you die? Got him. Is there no hardcore season of discovery? Sorry, I, I read that message kind of late, so I was fighting for my life. 
Um, there's like a plug-in for it, but it's not, there's no official mode for it or anything. Oh, I like these shoes, Daedric boots. Let's see if that's better than mine. Boots four. Oh, let's, let's swap out the boots. Just gonna repair everything real quick, also. What's up, uh, Z Zenum? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Matrix pants. Six armor, eight arm. Wait, no. Yeah, eight armor. All right. Swap that out also. I really like how the Daedric armor looks. Okay. I guess let's go in here. It was very convenient that that person just walked away as soon as I opened the door. I drink a potion real quick. This game is pretty fun to crowd control as well. Saw a streamer doing that for donations. X dollars to drop all gear, X dollars to steal, X worth of items. Oh, that's a cool idea. This is the part I feel like I'm not even. I never leave. think of stuff like that. Finish today, Morrowind, after. Nine hours, only main story. I feel like that's... That's why for this game I'm trying not to do the main story yet. Because I don't want to finish it too quickly. I did that in Skyrim. Where I finished the main story really fast and I kind of... I didn't, it didn't like... Impact my playthrough too much, but I was kind of bummed out that I finished it too fast. There ended up being a lot of really cool stories, though, so it, it didn't matter that much, but... I don't know. I just wanted there to be more of the main story. So it was just over too quick. Get the shield. Um, let's see what it's like. 16. That's pretty good. It's a lot heavier than mine, but... Ugh. I guess that's okay. <laughs> I barely have room to pick anything else up. <laughs> I mean, I do have a lot of potions that weigh a lot. I guess I could get rid of some of these at some point. Hey, I think this is not where I was supposed to go. Hmm. I don't remember which direction I came from. Oh, I was definitely not here. Putting <laughs> poison on. I'm, I'm very close to... Wow, this shield takes up a lot of my screen. Oh man, I might have to get rid of this shield. It takes- it blocks my whole screen! I'm about to finally join the Mage's Guild officially. This is my last, uh, my last Mage Guild task. I gotta go pick up my old shield. That's what I'm saying. It's too, too much. Oh, I don't like it. If you can't see the damage, it can't hurt you. I do like that thought process, but... I very much value my 
my ability to see what's happening in front of me most of the time. I'm gonna say goodbye to the cool demon shield. Oops. Oh, what is happening? Oh shit, I made it. Just got home, we're still here. Hi, Denim! Yep, made it just in time. Gonna, we're gonna get to go to the big arcane library mage guild very, very soon. I finish my little tasks. Hmm, that looks important. Um... So I came from that way. Maybe a glass shield won't cover as much of the screen. I guess a glass shield would be okay because you could probably, probably just look through it like a window. Person, that's a thing, right? Yeah, you could go third person. I don't really like going third person too much. Oh, I think I just got really used to first person. I think. I like how he's trying to like block, but can't block magic just like that. <laughs> I prefer second person. <laughs> just playing the entire game through the perspective uh, perspective of nearby NPCs. <laughs> What's up, Kais? Fell asleep yet again? Any new lore requests? Um, no, I'm still I'm still doing the Mage Guild stuff. Um. I'm acquiring an amulet from a tomb for the mage guild lady in uh in Leowin. Goddamn, where the where the viewers come from? I got hosted by I Eat Your Pie. He's actually one of my favorite streamers. I feel like I don't watch a ton of Twitch, but. Whenever I see Pi live, I watch him. He does a ton of challenge runs. It's like my favorite stuff to watch. Oh. You're robbing a tomb? Only because the, the mage guild told me to. I only commit crimes when someone higher up says I have to. <laughs> The mage girl told you to jump off a bridge, would you? Well, you know, if they told me something good would happen at the end. If they ensured me I'd start flying or something, probably. I probably would. I'd be like, oh yeah, that sounds sounds trustworthy. I trust the mage guild with my life. That's why I devoted my life to them. Oh man, oh man. I need to buy more lockpicks. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, 55 gold to buy lockpicks with. Hermes Moore told her to she would hesitate. Oh, I would not hesitate. Hermes Moore is my favorite, favorite character to ever exist in anything. He's just like me for real. Oh, I see that trap. Hey, Anon, thanks for the sub to OG Smeagol. <laughs> Thank you. I liked lockpicking in this more than Skyrim. 
I feel like it's harder in this game than Skyrim. Or, well, harder for me. I'm definitely worse at it in this game. I see that person. Man, three of them. I'm gonna preemptively take some potions. That's fine. Oh man. Okay, more potions. Anon, thanks for the sub to Cravel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh -oh. This guy's almost dead. Nice, got one. Do your worst. Warlord goes crazy. He has really cool armor. Uh oh, I'm falling. <laughs> I'm falling. Oops. And non thanks for something. Uh, oh, oh, Stokes. Oh, what's the matter? Is the baby gonna cry? <laughs> I'm so impressed with the enemies in this game. You know, have time to even think of something intimidating to say mid-fight. Even when they're about to die like that. Well, I'm taking the helmet. Oh no, I can't move, actually. Putting the boots away. Uh, I gotta put some potions away too. Hmm. Just looking for things that are heavy in my inventory. Right, that's fine. I got the helmet. That's all that matters. I didn't even have a helmet. Now I look beautiful. Carry weight is the bane of your existence. It is. My armor is just so heavy. And the 100 potions that I'm carrying with me. It's just so heavy. Wanna take the chest plate too? Too heavy. A Daedric chest plate? Yeah, it's too heavy. It's definitely heavier than mine. I've got like seven pounds of carry weight left over. Wait. Huh? I don't know which way I came from. What's my heavy armor skill? I think it's pretty high, because that's what I've been mostly using. 60. Not bad. Close to leveling up my restoration skill. I think they have a little, little pool here. I got that first try. Hey, Anon, thanks for the sub to Joe, Joe Bass. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go this way. <gasps> Someone else has been killing people in here. Oh, it's probably that guy. <laughs> This guy. Yes, 
some more magic. Non, thanks for a sub to Mo Mo Dallas. I like that name. Mo Dallas. Now I gotta kill a glowing entity that's so hard to kill because I can't see him. Skill. I know we're mid-fight, but I can equip my new s my spell, my better healing spell, if I can find it. Uh, heal of greater wounds. Let's go. Need a lot more magic to use it though, but if my magic regens, I can use it and try it out. Oh yeah, it heals way more than, than my other spells. Nice helmet. Thank you. I just got it a couple seconds ago. Well, a couple minutes ago. Alright, now we're raiding tombs in the name of the Mages Guild. There it is. Got the amulet. Isn't Will-O-Wisp a Pokemon move? Yeah, it is. I think it's it's more than just in Pokemon though. I think it's just I think it's just one of those things that just exists, like like goblins. Like no one owns the IP of goblins. Made up thing that exists. Hey Mo Dallas, thanks for a sub to arch it. Thank you for your service. I check every tomb. All right. Oh, oh my God. Look, uh, uh, just stop right there. All right. I can't let I do you not like this angle. <laughs> I need it face. right now. It's got snot coming out of his nose. What are you doing here, Calthar? I didn't know what you're up to. I knew you were looking for it. I knew you'd find it, and I had to stop you. Now, hand it over. Now I have to kill a fellow member of the Mage Guild. I took the other one, and that should have been enough. I shouldn't have to go through all this just to get rid of her. It's not even it's not as if nice I was guy. going to keep it forever. I was going to give it back to her once I'd gotten what I wanted. That's not so wrong, is it? You're a bad, once bad she guy, me out of that place and step down, then she could have it back. Why did you have to get in the way? This guy's power hungry. Why are you trying to ruin everything? I'm doing the right thing. He's messing with the wrong person. Oh my god. Sick. It just said I contracted chills. Uh oh. Got a little cold while we were down here. Defeated Kalthar, who was attempting to manipulate Dagale or da Daigle. I need to give her this information immediately. Man, I can't believe that the enemy was in the guild the whole time. Taking his money. Doesn't need it. <laughs> like every mage guild is a token asshole. It does seem that way. It does seem that way. Bruma, Chaden Hall, and Leowen, they all had one messed up guy. I'm trying to think. What's the other town? I feel like in Skingrad, everyone was pretty nice. Oh, we're at the entrance. Well, 
Other than the disease I've contracted, that wasn't so bad. Where are we? Let's go back. Let's get that Mage Guild recommendation once and for all. Also, get rid of my disease. Why not fast traveling? I try not to fast travel too much because I really like just walking around in game. I, I love the world. Like the immersive world and stuff. But I do I do fast travel sometimes, like if I'm feeling really lazy, I guess. What's up, Helix? Bro, that guy really looked at your character and thought he'd win that fight. I know, especially when I'm dressed like this. Full-on demon-looking armor. Crazy inscribed sword. That guy was very overconfident. I found a cave. Can't explore the cave right now, I gotta... I pray away my illness. Pray away my disease. And Anon, thanks for the sub to Helix. <laughs> Thank you for your service, Anon. Oh, who's that guy? Oh, that's the courier. Glad they got unstuck. You look kind of tanky for the Mage's Guild. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the resident mage guild tank. If they need to go bandos or something, I'll, I'll help them out. I'll put this torch away. thought the thank you sound was from the game. It's from Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1. Not, it's not too far off of being the right guess. I forget where the Mage Guild is. Oh, I see it on the compass. I love this town, but it's so confusing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a little confusing. I don't think I've even explored the whole town yet. Oh, I... Well... No, I definitely haven't. I've explored most of it. I think. Not the whole thing. I really sidetracked with the Mage Guild business. <laughs> and on things for some to account suspended 12. <laughs> Where is everyone? Oh, they're sleeping. Where's the old lady? Hmm. Are any of your other alerts the wood carvings? No. It'd probably be cool to to use them, but I honestly I don't even remember what the other wood carvings are, like what they say. Well, they got a lot of floors in this place. There she is. Oh, she's going to sleep. No, oh, I gotta wake her up. Nothing has changed, child. The voices still. No, oh, don't worry. I got your amulet. Found it, have you? Silence the hands that betrayed and took what was mine. Imagine we give this turn, she's still crazy. So that <laughs> she the does nothing. Can be shut out. <laughs> oh, is she okay? <laughs> she just fell to the floor. Ah, oh, child, I thank you for helping me. With the voice oh, she's suddenly quiet, really good at walking. The words you seek have come to me. You shall have my recommendation. Let's go. Oh, I must warn you. I've seen things in your future. Things which may be, and things which will be. It will be up to you to decide the fate of many. 
Life and death are strange things, easily manipulated, and both will be altered by your hands. It's putting a lot of pressure on me right now. A lot of pressure on my future currently. The Coral Guild Hall had an unpleasant visit recently from someone who had a grudge against Tikius. What? Bye. You gotta go back to Coral. Check that out. Well, I think I got every recommendation at least. I think that's every town's recommendation. We gotta go see what happened in Coral real quick though. Save my buddy Tikius. It's Coral. Also, I've been pronouncing it wrong. I've been pronouncing it Choral this whole time. We cannot fast travel from this location? What? What about from out here? Ah. Whoa. Misty here. Did I ever get Daedric armor in Skyrim? Hmm. I am not sure. I honestly don't even remember what armor I used in Skyrim. Don't get too like off the top of my head. Through here these days. I hear oh, he's still, well, he's still okay. Go ahead. He's fine. Yes, it's quite odd. Renald, who I bumped into several times in Coral, acted like I was a complete stranger. Also, he seemed sober, which very odd. Nothing weird He's seeing here. You. Greetings. Greetings. Hi. Was was my Skyrim build similar to this? Pretty much. I was pretty much using melee and magic like interchangeably. You? Not I guess I'm somewhat of a battle mage, Voices you could say. From... I do. I really like melee and I like magic, so it's hard to choose. Only thing I don't like is range. I finished Skyrim with ebony armor. Did I? I like actually don't remember. But what is my quest right now? Oh. Alright, where's Mage Guild? Join the Mage's Guild. Alright. I think... I think we could go to the Imperial City now and actually go in. I think. Am I missing a recommendation anywhere? Wait, what? Did I not get... Did I not get a recommendation in Breville? Yes, I did. Did I not? Isn't this where the well was? Hi there. I don't think I got my recommendation in Breville. That's Shaden Hall. No! <laughs> I thought that we were done! Aw, oh, man. Greetings. Oh, yeah, I don't think I went What's here. here with you? Black Marsh has become more dangerous than ever. Delphin Gend, creator of the celebrated Ooh, Delphine, Enemies Explode not a good name. spell. Reminds me of Advanced the lady in Skyrim. Advanced trainer in destruction. And Very unfortunate name for her to have. The, Argonia is a the number one most hated character in all of Skyrim. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Do I have Shivering Isles? I have the DLC, but I don't think I've done it yet. You didn't like Delphine, why? Because she wanted me to kill Pathernax, and Pathernax was like my second favorite character. Behind Hermaeus Mora, of course. Goodbye. I hope that I talked to you about our recommendation here. Arieri, your friendly guild alchemist. Not looking Goodbye. for an alchemist. Can I help you? Thief Guild? What's he doing Shadow in the Mage Hide. Guild? <laughs> Did 
to check every room. I don't know where this person is. Hello. Hello. Who made these NPCs truly terrifying? I think most of them look look all right. Well met. I can't find a. I can't find who's in charge. Did I talked to her. Someone you say the like right lock one. is missing. Hello, is I don't know what happened. What do you want? Hello there, associate. You're oh. here for a recommendation, I presume. Yep, my last one. I'm afraid I haven't had time to prepare anything conventional. I'm very preoccupied with this situation concerning Ardalin. Perhaps you can help with that, however. I can't directly get involved for fear of embarrassing the poor girl. Ignoring the Argonian, wow! <laughs> Gamori, and you can learn something an about the power of illusion in the process. Okay. Are you so eager to begin? Very well. Um, no? I'm not ready yet. What's going on with you? I heard people saying they ran into goblins around here oh, not long ago. I think that's ago. a painting of Anvil. I can't stand those things. I don't know. I avoid those things whenever I can. Horrible creatures. Goodbye. Farewell. Oh, basement. I thought that was a little doorway. Okay, well, unfortunately, I thought the Leowin one was the last recommendation. What's new with you? I am not ready to undertake her task right now. I'm really hungry. I need to go eat dinner. So I'll have to save the last and final recommendation for tomorrow. Very disappointing. I really thought that Leowin was the last one. I can't believe I fully forgot about this town. This was like the first town I went to today. Completely skipped past it. I must depart now. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm really excited to join the Mages Guild once and for all and be in it for forever and never get kicked out ever again. So tomorrow we will we will join. But um if anyone's curious about, you know, my first time playing Skyrim or the start of my Oblivion journey, I have all my VODs uploaded on my VOD channel. If anyone wanted to take a look and I'll be live with more Oblivion tomorrow. I'll see you guys very soon. Oops, what did I just press? All right. Good night, everyone. I hope you have a really good rest of your day. Um, let's see who's live. Oh yeah, and join the Discord if you want to. Sometimes we do cool stuff in there. Bill organizes RuneScape events for our for our clan and other cool things. Um, I am gonna host Bucklington. Truly one of the funniest streamers of all time. Well, not even streamers, just one of the funniest people of all time. Everyone go say hi to Buck. He is a very entertaining guy. And I'll see you all very soon.